Alright, let's continue here. It's it's going to get pretty rough with Anarchy very quickly. Um, a lot of these things are close to maxed out. This will be maxing out. I don't have my uh, two things to pause this stuff yet. I can reduce full city Anarchy, uh, so we'll wait for that. Um, but otherwise I can start upgrading at least this one to three, so that on Friday I'll remove the District Unrest by two, so that'll be good. Um, this one probably upgrade as well. Now tomorrow we get the uh, scavenger market. So all this is going to cost a bunch of intel. Uh, so the hope is that you know tomorrow I can buy what I want and then maybe we spend. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but first things first, we are hopping into a situation which is a non-combat scenario. Uh, I'm looking down here, right? Good. So because we got all those weapons and all that stuff, I did it uh, yesterday. All right. So. Got intel for this situation. Pants. The leader of the progeny is a woman who calls herself Violet. Violet. No last name, no known origin. Oh. We now know why they're called the progeny. She induced the psionics of each and every member. The sheer psionic power required is alarming. Consider Violet extremely dangerous. Okay. I know her. When Advent forced psionics upon me, there were others. Many others. And she was one of them? I never trained with her. Before I escaped, I reached out to her telepathically. And? Her mind kept repeating up. I think it was a poem. I didn't recognize it. We'll see if that helps narrow down who she was before Advent turned her into this. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, God, that image. Really cool. This already seemed like the cool, uh... Cooler investigation compared to the Grey Phoenix. Alright, so, mark I'm it for today. Tesseract, and I'm part of the reason you lost your world. More armor piercing rounds. That's as much completely as worth it, honestly. Now, it does but take the spot of the grenade, but. You didn't know how to fight back. There are ways to get more utility well, you slots. Or else What's lightning hands? And who will you blame Let me look up time. what this is before we buy it. Because we only have one pistol and I'm user. Here to show you why you should have believed. Lightning hands. Well, it's not showing. At this point, it's going to be pretty important to buy the uh, ones we want. Uh, are these all the abilities or just some of them? Let me see here. This might be all of them, so I'm gonna just keep this tab open. Fire your pistol at a target. This attack does not cost an action and has a three turn cooldown. Ooh. Okay, so fan fire is a once permission thing that lets you fire off three shots. So against the boss, I can use that for getting four shots out, like a normal attack, and then four. Whereas this is a three-turn cooldown. But that would be three shots, because I get one shot off, and um, and then this shot, and then the third shot. So it's it's one less shot than Fanfire, but it can be used more often. Uh, and again, the fact it doesn't cost an action, you can even use it not just for like, you know, bosses, like if you need to fire, then move, or something like that. Like, fire and then move to be an overwatch. I think I will buy this. Alright, I'll keep that tab there in case that's actually showing all the, uh, abilities. Alright. Uh, and then again, armor piercing. I, I probably should get that. I'm just trying to think. Now, the SMGs have Shredder, which doesn't pierce armor, but it tears it down. And grenades are so good. I mean, so this is what I was saying. I could, uh... I know the armor we have now that I could buy, which I don't have money for, but, you know. If I had the money, we could buy... Uh... The enhanced armor. 
gives plus one utility slot. Now the question is, does the next tier armor, you know, give the two health utility and something? Or is it something completely different? I'm going to go off the idea that it builds upon it. Because it wouldn't make sense, like, let's just make up some random stuff here. Basic armor gives you, you know, two health. This armor gives you, uh, no, basic armor gives you, like, what, one armor. This gives you two health and utility, and the next one gives you, like, you know, five armor. Like, it, it wouldn't make sense that they'd be giving you varying stats. It should be a natural progression of first thing gives you two health, next tier gives you two health and the ability, next tier gives you two health and the ability, and armor, for instance. So I'm going to assume that's the case, at which point I think that buying armor piercing would be nice. Because again, we are starting to see certain enemies with annoying armor, but it's not as much of an issue. Because I mean, again, my main thing right now with the intel is I want to upgrade all of these to max, which is going to take so much. It's going to be 95 for this, and then I don't even know how much for that. Um, so it's going to be like at least like 200 per fucking thing. Um, and again, the fact that SMGs shred armor. Right now, we're just using a specific party to level people up, but otherwise, we, we have two SMG people. Or no, do we have three SMG people? I think we have three SMG people. So any given party, generally speaking, outside of like right now specific leveling, would probably have one to two SMG people. Right, because we have one. I can start looking at this stuff. Uh, shotgun. Two. This is SMG, right? So this should be three. Yeah, we have three SMG people. Yeah. So we'd be tearing down armor. Now that would mean I'd specifically have to target people with the armor. I, I think... Again, my main priority right now is leveling this stuff up, so I'm okay with not getting those AP rounds. It's still great to have on Blue Blood. And then obviously when he's not in the party, I can give it to someone else. As much as I want it, I think it's more of a priority to upgrade the other shit first, so we'll hold out on that. Alright, well that's good. Uh, so one more day for her to be done with the Spec Ops for more intel. Oh, credits. We're going credits because we're going to eventually be buying that shit, okay. Uh, you're getting Mastercraft shotguns, so again, it doesn't tell you what the uh, Mastercraft armor is, but I would hope it's the same, like, enhanced armor, plus other stuff, or improved in some way, and it's not completely different stats. So that would kind of suck. So we only have, uh, one utility item right now, so. Alright. And unfortunately, these can't be used. Oh god, and both of these are going to be fucking getting maxed out. So again, our city anarchy. Oh my god, we're, I'm going to have three of them. So two of them are going to be maxed out, plus that one. So three full things maxed out. Oh fuck, dude. On Friday, it'll be... So at least it's Wednesday. Um, let me just see which one do we want to do. Let's do rewards first. Advanced laser sight, I don't really care about. Uh, Intel. Two days towards that. I mean, I, I I want this in terms of city anarchy, but I don't want this because I'm gonna do more missions for more experience, more rewards, etc., etc. So I probably do the Intel one. Again, credits unrest. I don't care about laser sight. Intel unrest. Get the credits the same way. So yeah, I need the intel. God, dude, this fuck. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, see, 120 to upgrade that. So it's going to be 95 plus 120, 95 plus 120, 120. We're going to be so... Oh, we're so fucked with this hierarchy. This is insane. Which is why I, I kind of have to fucking do this just to get this lower. Because we're not going to last eight days at all even reducing city anarchy what is that 14 is that be getting three anarchy per day now, at the end of tomorrow it'll be one and then it's three per day um so one and then seven days is gonna be yes yeah, so we'd be at 22 which is you know more than 14 uh, and even removing this for 
two or whatever it was, that wouldn't be enough. Um, now, of course, again, I, I'd only be able to get one of these ranked up by Friday. And yes, we can like freeze district and reduce district, but it's it's gonna be too much, too much pressure to do that. I mean, I, I I really think if I did that, I'd fuck myself. I don't think I can do it, even with like using all these abilities and doing my best to upgrade that stuff. I think we're just fucked. Uh, so I, I have to do this one, which is a shame because I need that intel, but I can't get it. So I could upgrade this right now. But then I wouldn't have enough by Friday. Because I really want to get this maxed out for Friday. It's assuming, which isn't always a guarantee, but if I'm playing it right, it is. Assuming I get the 20 intel permission. And assuming it's two missions, which doesn't have to be. It could be a situation tomorrow. I'd be getting 40 intel, which would put me at 145, which is just enough for this. Whereas if I upgraded this, it'd be 95, so I'd have 10 intel, which becomes 40 intel, plus the 40 is 80 intel, and I would not have enough to level up either. So yeah, I, I have to max that out. Oh, dude. Oh god, this is so rough. Yeah, I can't do that yet. Alright, so we're, our hand's being forced here. We have to take this one. Grant extra situation rewards? Oh, situation rewards. Oh, okay. Um, this is pretty in, like insane at how fucking much this is, that there's not really a good way to reduce this, because I've been focusing on these teams from the get-go, and we're still in this really shit position. Kind of crazy. Yeah, I have to do this one, unfortunately. Alright, um, so confirmed in nightclub manager's connection with the progeny. Somehow she has her hands on specialized sonic tech and turns it over to them. One event. Uh, so we have the healer. That's right, we have these guys we want to level them and then blue blood for this. Um, so blue blood needs his other pistol. Which means... I mean, there's less of a need for autoloader, but I mean, not really. Because <laughs> he's actually, he's gonna be firing more now because of that, so now that's fine. <sighs> Fuck, dude. Um, oh, Shelter needs the mods now. I actually had time to. I, I wanted to do this off stream, but last night was like the first night since I got the vaccine that, like, I f felt good, <laughs> like normal. A normal human being um and I, I just did literally nothing oh no i, I watched uh i finally started watching sopranos you know only 20 years later i watched three episodes last night uh so let's do this right now and i'm already blanking out what i was doing okay still have the tiniest bit of like slight slight lightheadedness but barely I still have like the not really feeling the heat thing, and it's, it's kind of weird, but it's, it's going away. Alright, so she... No, it's patchwork. So who has the mods on them? Oh, he does, because we don't have play more. So scope, stock, regen, plasma. Scope, stock, plasma, regen. What's his ability to chain shot is the minus 15, so he definitely needs the plus 15. Fuck yeah, perfect. Alright. Forcing my hand here. Damn it. are moving contraband through this nightclub. Recover it. Uh, enemies deal more damage, but we get a aim boost. Okay. In terms of turn order, 
having shelter earlier when he switches places with people is very useful. So whether he's first or second, I don't know. Otherwise, no one else necessarily matters as much. He also has the plasma. I believe Godmother has the other plasma. And she has the disable one. He also has the ability to disable people. So if I do that... Well, he's got to go first for that. Um... I'm gonna do blue blood first because like he would be able to wipe out someone who's important and then we'll do shelter followed by terminal god don't bunch up Archon or we take out the guy we know we can take out I think we focus on the Archon here Well, I think they can focus on the Archon. I can take out this guy since my damage is low anyways. So, I could Dazzle, but you know what? I don't think we need to. And then you will kill him outright. chance you kill him, but weakening the codex is actually pretty useful, so we're going to do that instead. Were they waiting for us? I don't think so. Maybe it's the contraband? That's the contraband. Grab it and get out. Codex is next. Okay, nice. Um, and I have lightning hands shoot without using the action i can phase lance it will hit him and kill him if i move to line up the shot to shoot them both another codex too damn you so i'd have to go like right here should be good but i mean they won't have cover for other people so like here i'm hoping Is it worth doing that? Yeah, I think it's worth doing that. So I'll kill the guy I need way. to kill and then weaken. So we found out, I think, that you cannot um, subdue codexes. Dropping the hammer. So we can so okay. I was gonna say subdue him, but I guess not. Good. Uh, next is this codex. She ha he has chain shot. We just be close to someone to do that. Uh, I could relocate with him so he's next to them so they can kick his ass and we'll still have to ignore the codex for now. Or I can relocate with a codex. No, I can't. All right, yes, yeah, so this is worth it. Should I capture the brute? Uh, would that be enough? Oh well, yeah, we'll have three people because again we're kind of ignoring the codex for now. Wow. Okay. Gonna do the AOE here. Makes sense. Weapons dry. That's gonna suck. Get a reload and then fucking do it. We have to do no matter what, so load. Might as well start working on subdue here. I can't stand in the bomb area. The three of us will down him. Cover me while I reload. She could throw the frag. Thing is, I don't think this will be the end of the fight. This should work. Shouldn't kill him. Now this might not. Oh fuck! He's standing in the thing. 
It's not gonna have blue blood. Shit. And she's gonna take damage. I'm gonna keep her there. God damn it. I got he rushes towards you. Hostile still up. Is his free reload? So both Back of them are action. taking damage. Damn it. Blue blood would be fine. I'm hoping Godmother won't get a scar just from one attack, because that would be pretty shitty. Could give someone else some movement. Let me just give it to Godmother for the sake of getting her out of there. Again, I, I really doubt that she'd get a scar from this, but, you know. She is the newer one. Alright. Ammo out! Is it really anyway? Oh, it's only three damage. Still, you know, worth it, whatever. Just gotta get out of here. Hmm. Assume we can shoot through this, it says we can. We should be able to hop through that window, so I think going this way makes more sense. It has cover. People are coming from there. Oh, you're in over. I didn't even see that. Alright. That was a lot of damage, I did not expect. Stay down until you're good. Open. Take it anyway, I guess. Good. Me. Oh god, and they're all just attacking at the same fucking time. They're not grouped up at all. Okay, I can get three shots out here, but I can only hit two people. I can do the free shot. Now, it's the only way I can get three shots if I stand still. Shelter, who can move and shoot one of those two. Isn't there still one grenade left? There's one grenade left, but again, no one's close enough for a frag, unfortunately. Can't, I think there's one grenade. We can use one of them, right? Um, because we can use a frag to kill one person. If he kills one person, she'll kill one person with a grenade. He'll kill at least one person with a gun. Um, so then she needs to kill a second person with her shotgun, which is unlikely due to range, so he would have to kill the second person. It means taking that 75% chance shot right now. Or by, if we take these out, and then going in his automatic overwatch. Because he can move here... I don't even know if he get a good shot on that fucker. I doubt that'd be a good shot. So I was gonna say he moved. He if he can kill that guy, then he can kill that guy, and she can frag that guy. Because I doubt she'd be able to frag this guy. So instead, he'd have to go here and kill one of those two. I mean, she'd have to kill one of these two. He just kill one of these two, and then still one of those two would survive. And we can't, if we're doing the Overwatch thing, the Codexes both have to die. Kinda wanna be where Terminal's at, she's in my way. Ugh, fuck. I might as well use Lightning Hands, just to see what the chance is. Oh, hey, there we go. Because now I can shoot him. 
can still move. Okay. Stay in the half cover. Yeah, I don't need to use like Overwatch because we we now should go down those two. I need a better angle. Yeah, push towards the exit. If they move, I'll shoot. I'm counting on you. Why does he have no shot on this guy? Wait, what? It's saying he has no shot on him. Hmm. But I could relocate with him. Pushes his turn order down, which is good. I'll do that anyway, because it does get me closer up. Oh no, I can't even fucking see that guy. What the hell? What's going on with this? So it's, it marks him for uh, subdue, but like, when I move, there's no icon saying I can shoot him. Well, I'm just gonna go here and see. Oh yeah, there you go. Just wasn't showing the icon. All right, good. Does she not have a grenade? Because he has the AP, so I figured the other two have grenades and she has the other thingy. Fuck. And she's gonna have to kill that guy, I guess. I mean. The shotgun at range, but... Well, she does have awesome... Oh, look at that movement. You know what? No, she can just be right here. She can get over there, no problem, because she has crazy mobility. That's right. Damn. The godmother will be the only one left, but they won't attack her. Good. Oh, I could give him guy the cooperation. Let her move up even further. Oh well. Ooh, he's not gonna make it. He might be attacked. I know where she leads. That's actually a shitty spot to be because I didn't give myself any cover. Wings. Can be attacked by that guy. Be nice if she had a grenade. Why did she not have a grenade? Could keep her here just for the sake. It says she has a shot. I'm sure it's a low chance. I oh, know that'd be dashing regardless. All right, he's just gonna be oh, there and move. take it. It's only gonna be one yeah, shot. Yeah, okay, really dealt with his fucking scars, so. Don't get the scar, which you shouldn't. Her power guides me. Don't like the feel of that. Okay, good. Archives don't have any records of this tech. Best guess is you grab a psionic augmentation device. Good news is it's their only prototype. Only captured one enemy. Oh god. We really have to get back in the groove of capturing people. Alright. How yeah, old is this building? Hundred shit. years, give or take? Just needs a little elbow grease. And a whole lot of elbows. Yes. Greece, because this place doesn't have enough of that. All right, well, at least this will remove the uh, stuff down there, so that's good. And then tomorrow this will be removed because I upgrade this fully. Let me verify what this one is. Yeah, I, I gotta do this one first. So, I guess technically speaking, I didn't have to do this one, but again, it would have been so close, but I'd have to use all of my abilities and rely on this and... Like, it would have been really close to me failing, so like, I think it was possible not to do the last mission like that, but we pretty much fucking had to. <laughs> Alright. Because this will this will be building, uh, but I can at least go ahead and uh, reduce unrest in there. 
and then eventually we can reduce city anarchy after we do this mission. Uh, tomorrow this will go down. So today we'll get two more anarchy, but this one won't get any more. And then the next day we'll be getting one anarchy, and then the next day we'll be getting no anarchy. Uh, so we'll be at four anarchy. And then we might get one more before we complete this. So we'll be at five at most. So that would be fine. Not great. But fine. Ooh. Hit tab thinking I can back out. Sometimes it's tab, sometimes it's escape. Alright, uh, well I guess let me read the mission first, but like we don't we need to switch our party. Uh Chris says all hands contain the outbreak. Yeah, it's just the generic outbreak thing. So we can go ahead and send her for what do you think? Oh, maybe some intel. Uh, let me see. Who the fuck has... Here's the plasma. She does have the frag. So I guess I did use both grenades. I really didn't think I did. And she has ceasefire. Yeah, that's... Huh. Okay. Uh, he'll be done tomorrow. I'm not... I mean, I could swap them. I... No, I think blue blood's done. We can look, but I think, um... Of the people that were left, there was nothing too, too crazy for training just yet. He's about to level up. Chiching. She's not. Oh, there those two. Alright. Uh, nothing else we need to do. Our house fires. That's gonna go up, but whatever. Alright. I mean, technically, if I upgrade that, oh, I can't anyway. I was gonna say we can get some credits, but and we still need to focus on Intel so much. Hostile forces aren't our only One. problem. Okay. Advent left many dormant threats in its wake. If the city faces an outbreak, it's our responsibility. I know. Civilians in imminent danger. Keep them safe. All right. Last through does plus three damage. All right. Um. I have to start looking at their guns again to see what does most damage. I know it's not the pistol, but the shotgun's been doing way more damage than I expect. I don't know what should be sending like that. I think I'll do terminal or a shelter first. And blue blood. And again, it's about who gets the most damage. We'll have terminal. Let's do this. Only one guy. Huh. I need to see the one. Everyone else is like too far back. Damn. Uh, prevent the casualties, which means just running into their circles. Acolyte and that guy. Well, I mean, I can't... <laughs> can't deal with both. Well, I could frag that guy. Go here and shoot him. I don't even think I'd be able to shoot. It says I can. I'd free this hostage. Yes, that's my play. I get to use the plasma already, but oh, and this car is gonna blow up. It might damage a hot. We can always restart. This will be the experiment. How big is the blast radius? Over. Good phone. He didn't die. Right, we're gonna restart then. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> that was a waste. How did he not die from that? I thought those things did four damage. Oh, maybe I'm thinking of uh, Claymore.
Outbreak confirmed. All right, uh, shelter. Don't bunch up. I guess I can't fully focus on the hostages. I mean, obviously, they're going to be priority. But... He goes here, uses his free shot on him, and then shoots him. That would hit the other guy. There. Got the hostile. Oh, I did a lot of damage. Holy shit. Alright, Berserker is not going to be down. If I can relocate with him, but he's gonna be too far away. Um, I might as well go here at least, though, because this is, you know, barely further than I can normally go anyways. Now, it's not cover, because I'm mean, on the wrong side, but at least I free this hostage. And relocate with my people, and that's it. Alright. Uh, can't throw plasma anywhere useful, so overwatch every direction. I would think he would... I don't know if he'd turn or not. Maybe friendly fire. So I have to... I have to guess this way, otherwise it's friendly fire. If I see it, I'll shoot it. You got this. Go straight, go straight, go straight, damn it. And there, there's no way to stop that, so... Okay. Uh, next is the other berserker. God damn, dude. Have to run and gun. Now I've done this before, and it's like just ended her turn. It's the opposite. Clearing a path. There we go. Get back here, maybe, because that would be too close. He's gonna run to me regardless, but make him use as much as he can. Blush makes them reposition. I can't even target the guy that I wanted to target. God damn it, man. I can throw the frag to injure him, but... Well, might as well. Let's see if it happens to pull aggro. Oh, I can shoot him now. Uh, I won't down him. I could use team up right now. Right now would be a good time to use it. On terminal? Well, she goes next, so blue blood. Well, blue blood wouldn't be able to get his three attacks out anyways. Um... If I use relocate, swap positions, for instance, I wouldn't be able to shoot him from over there. I think it'd have to be blue blood. He'd be able to move and get the shot out. Just gonna fire. Does not get a shot from here. Really? Up here, there he does, which is okay, whatever. Over here, he does. Right. Moving. Eyes open. 
Don't stray too far. Still got it. Damn. This is the weaker one. We have shots on from pretty much anywhere. Okay. I'm gonna relocate just to lower his turn, and then we can work on uh, capturing him, which is only gonna give me a low chance for intel, but hey, whatever, it's better than zero chance for intel. Hope it's a uh, three damager here. Or he'll attack. We'll win regardless, but still. Good. Alright. No intel. Yep, whatever. Alright, we got our payday, good. So, what will you do when you retire? Get a boat or something? You always ask. What about you? Oh, I'm not going to retire. Of course you will. You can't do this job for too long. Terminal does get it the utility to... slot for the no, AP I item. Mean, I know the odds. Mobility for shelter? Tops, then a stray blast of plasma flash fries my lungs. HP for God So why do this? Because I'm no good when I stop. I understand mm. more than you know. So the two people I want to level up have shit. Otherwise, Patchwork, who's away. But I can get Zephyr with more mobility. And then just use one of those two in there, I guess. Just got promoted. He's got soul fire. Oh, this is what the other scions were using. Uh, launches a sonic blast at an enemy delaying their next turn. Does guaranteed damage, ignores cover and armor. There you go. Uh, so he's got lots of turn control. Because again, relocate, we've upgraded to lower their turn. He has an attack now that lowers turn, which is guaranteed damage and ignores cover and armor. So it's pretty much guaranteed hit. That's why I was seeing before where they were hitting from so far away. Um, I'm sure it's not that much damage. Maybe it is. But either way, it's going to be a really good thing just to do some damage while also lowering their turn. And it's only a two-turn cooldown, which is nice. Okay. He's got lots of turn manipulation. Alright. Uh, so, she's getting mobility. This is looking a little bit better, though, because uh, after today, this should be lowered. Because I have this. Oh my god, I misread that. It's only security that reduces it on Fridays. Oh, fuck me. Ugh, that's a lot of intel I technically wasted. Fuck. Let's see what we're going to do first, and then we'll figure it out. Uh, tracer rounds, Trank rounds, don't really care about them. Intel is obviously good. Advanced autoloader Intel. <sighs> God damn. And getting more Intel seems more interesting. This will reduce the anarchy, which as we're seeing is a really big issue right now. Mmm. Fuck, dude. I, I, I have to. I have to start reducing anarchy. I'm gonna have to uh, reduce that. And freeze that one. This will build up, but then after we complete the mission, it'll reduce it. 
Uh, at least this is upgraded now for if I do the next thing in there, it'll reduce it. But fuck, dude. They just kind of go overboard with this shit. At least it's not that much more intel. 65 versus 40. And it's, but the thing is, not only will I not use these, like, I don't have room for them if I wanted to. I'm sure tracer rounds give you, like, better accuracy or something, which is nice, obviously, but, like... I want grenades. Fuck, man. Alright. Whatever. I mean, I might have to, like, I I've been giving her the intel ones, because we need that for the upgrades, but I might have to go to... Again, five turns to reduce all districts by one. It's it's a long time for that. And when I get that maxed out, which one was close to maxing out? None of them. I have to actually max it myself. That's why it's a shame we didn't have enough for this. That one's already maxed. I have to get 95 and uh, 120. Let's see. 15th is the next one, so in two days, hold the intel for that. But yeah, there's no upgrades I can get anyway. I mean, everything's based on Friday. Unless I wanted to go ahead right now and swap out an Illyrium one, which would cost me money, or not money, intel. A lot of intel. Cost me 95 just to get 15. In the long run, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna want to do this. But right now, when we're really fucking needing it, I, I, I can't. Fuck, dude. That sucks. It's so goddamn expensive. I think that's the main thing. Was if this was just the tiniest bit cheaper. But even then, it'd be rough. Fuck, dude. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do with any of that stuff. We'll do the anarchy soon, but uh, alright, fuck it, we gotta do this one just because it's gonna remove unrest. Our contact at Viper's Nest reports an asset of interest has fallen to their possession. We're starting to see repeating uh, quest thingies. It's fine, but you know. Uh, door, repel point, two encounters. All that stuff is good. Contraband is under heavy guard. Uh, so stun, defense, stun, mobility. In terms of mobility, Godmother already has it like crazy. She's the one that would really need it. I, I still don't know if guns have like, you know, ranges. It doesn't seem like it. I keep thinking, you know, for shotguns, obviously, oh, let's get closer. But she seems to be able to shoot from far away regardless. Um... So maybe shelter, so he can move after he relocates. But the thing is, I wouldn't want shelter to go last, so he'd fit that, but not the turn order. And that's the only other. One, that's the only one that really matters. Plus, it's just one round, so it's more important to go turn order. So again, uh, shelter should always be at the start, whether it's first or second, because you know when he relocates, puts it near his other enemies. Uh, but Blula is also nice because he gets all those shots out, which can wipe out enemies when it's like one turn for us and like three for them. Well, he can shoot the three people, so I'm going to go with that. Then shelter. And then the last two don't really matter as much. Um, but fuck it, give Godmother even more mobility. Whatever. Breach! Breach! Aggressive. So 
Cobras obviously will be annoying. I think if we two of us can take down a brute. And then they'd have to tag team on someone. I'd have to see see I won't know what the shotgun's gonna be able to hit, because I'd say maybe the sorcerer. Sorcerer is in our their is on their side. Otherwise, I I can shoot the sorcerer. I'm gonna do that. I'll shoot the sorcerer. Because we know that the uh, shotgun will hit the brute. Ooh, but he can also dazzle. That's gonna be more important. I can't remember if he can dazzle and um, shoot at the same time. I think he can't. Just fine. Yeah. So we're only gonna down one of them, so we might as well finish downing the. Uh, Oh, she can't even see the one. Okay. The sorcerer, well, fuck. You can finish the brute off. Yeah, you guys can't see the sorcerer. Okay, well, no matter what, we would have only been able to down one regardless. It's a shame that I have to... Wow, that's right. He was the guy that was stunned. Fuck me. I forgot about the stun mechanic. I could have done that so much better. Oh, well. Alright. Uh, where's the evidence at? Over here, we've got Bruiser and Hitman. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I could phase Lance. It would end my turn, though. It wouldn't down them. Oh, fuck. So I'm not gonna be able to hit those guys regardless. I mean, if, if I move... I'd get two shots, I had down one guy. I guess that'd be worth it. Better than nothing. I need a better angle. Be careful. Just hit the guy in the back. I can. If I shoot the guy in the back and then I do dead eye on this dude. Is that Oh, there's no guarantee it kills him after to do max damage. I can't really risk that. So I have to just confirm kill that guy with this, and then I can use Phase Lance to at least weaken the other dude. Did you see that? Why is that so strong? What the it's fuck? My job easier. Oh my god. Trooper is next. I want to start subduing people. And if I had an angle on that, that'd be nice. Uh, so I, I could throw this just for the sake of uh, getting that. I could either swap places with the trooper and shoot the cobra. Or swap places with the sorcerer to get closer to the intel. I think I'd rather do that. So trooper is going to be able to come after us, but he is far enough away that shouldn't matter. So the resident at least should be lowered health to hopefully have someone knock him out. Let's just see the soul fire. Damage is four. So yes, weaker damage, but again, guaranteed hit that ignores cover and all that shit. Uh, and lowers their turn order. That's actually, that's, I could have done that right now. But again, I'd rather get the uh, intel here. Bopping with the sorcerer. Changing locale. Uh, so who's next? Resonant and the Cobra. <sighs> Unfortunately, she can't do both. Now, I could use a uh, team up. So she can knock out the Resonant and... Blue Blood could probably get the three... Sh oh, he has the cooldown, so it'll only be two shots on the Cobra. 
Throwing ceasefire is not going to help with the Cobra. It will help with other people, though. I'm going to do team up, but the question is with who? Because otherwise I can have her... Shoot the Cobra. It wouldn't kill him, though. And obviously she won't get a sh I mean, if I go from here, I can shoot at the Cobra. No, I can't. What am I saying? I'd have to go from here. So I could take this low chance shot where if I do hit him, I then can finish him off with hail of bullets. Which would then let him knock him out. And even if I miss, then he can finish him off. Right? Would he he'd be able to get the shot and then knock out. So I don't actually have to take that low chance shot. What I could do. I don't want to kill again. I want to have these guys ready for knockout. No matter what, it's going to be a low chance shot if I shoot one of them. I do have to weaken him is the thing. Let me see. When, when I give... Uh, blue blood his next thing. They're still gonna go. Because again, I'm thinking of it this way. Um, blue blood knocks him out. We're gonna have to shoot that guy so we can't knock him out. These two will have to tag team to knock him out. So that leaves shelter for trooper who can't be knocked out. So we're only gonna be knocking out two people. <sighs> Is there a way to knock out a third one here somehow? That's when we start taking Zephyr. I might, I might put Zephyr back in the party just for this, because right now we're really needing intel. Obviously, Zephyr's awesome too, but like, you know, I was trying to level up these specific guys, and Zephyr can replace Blue Blood for the time being or something. Um, even the healer. Right now, we haven't really needed a healer for a little bit. Subdue hasn't, like, increased at all. It might be per person. Some people, I swear, no, it's always been two to three, no. But we can check everyone, but yeah, I think it's always two to three. So what I will do is, like, if there's some way that I hit him but don't kill him, I guess that would work. Like that? But that's still you not going to be enough angle. to knock him out. Wait, why'd you end your turn? Wait, what? Oh, because shooting end your turn. Oh, man, I just fucked everything up. God damn it, man. I'm trying to think of like five things at once here. Is that the best you can do? All right. Oh, fuck, dude. Gun. Yeah, everyone does two to three. So no matter what, he he's going to take two people to knock him out. He's not going to get knocked out. And giving... Can't give Blue Blood his next turn. Might as well give it to Terminal. Fuck this completely up here. Uh, so... How much damage can I do to Cobra? That would be great if it hit. Because that would be enough for the knockout. Perfect. Those two are ready to be knocked out, and then these two have to tag team the sorcerer to knock him out. Shouldn't have bothered. Could shoot him. Then I'd still have enough to knock him out, because I can shoot. And that's right, this isn't just a one encounter situation, it's two encounters. So we should be good with knockouts. You. You're under arrest. 
Now, one of these guys is still going to attack, but... Oh, fuck, I can't knock anyone out. Oh, yeah, I can I can swap places with someone. I want to knock out the Cobra, because I don't need the Cobra. Um, oh, I, the Cobra has three health. So there's no guarantee he gets knocked out, so... The Cobra there, but he's probably going to tongue pull someone. Oh, I'll keep him. Oh, good, okay. I would rather he missed. Oh, that's right. It moves his turn order. Oh, hell yeah. All right, run and gun. Clearing a path. Changing position. Is it going to let me run? It says I can run and shoot. You're safe. Get yeah, but moving. you can't actually subdue. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna attack or anything. Whatever, reload. Reloading. Oh, she can't do it either, so you know what? I guess I do have to attack him. No, I don't. Action. I can pin down. Now, the thing is, it'd be a cooldown, but it's worth it. And I, I need the intel. Like, it's worth wasting. It's been like five minutes. But, yeah, again, we're just in such a shit situation right now that we really, really need to knock him out. Godmother will get it. I'm curious if I relocate with, uh... Swapping position. So if I use this move first, I, I don't... Yeah, it's still just one attack. I just wanted to verify that. It's not one of those things where, like, if you use it first, it counts as no action. Alright, good. There's no guarantee this works, though. So we still might take damage. But, you know, whatever. There you go. Thank you. Alright. Took a while. So we know we knocked out two there. I'm not sure if we knocked out one before that. We might have. I've already forgotten. But I still want to knock out at least one more dude. Last unit is rooted. Okay. Well, he could technically uh, relocate. But then he wouldn't be able to move. So I think having her maybe rooted just because she can get like heals off and cooperation and shit like that. Sure. Well, we might as well. I don't know if we need health, but. Don't bunch up. Uh, Codex. Bomber. Codex again. Bruiser. Archon. And then just a trooper. If I knew I'd kill him, I would do that, but I think I need someone else to do that then. Which means, which of these three do we focus on? The Bomber, the Archon, or one of the Codexes. I don't know what the Bomber does, but you know, it kind of makes sense to go after him. But then again, the Archon seems pretty rough too. Go Archon. This is all 100%. I'm gonna have the uh, healer take that guy out. So I will kill that guy. Or not. Now I will. And she won't kill him. Damn. Everyone's attacking blue blood. I have the target. Once you have it, please. Well, I'm not gonna be able to down the codexes, so I think I might as well just use my bait. Oh, I thought I was where Godmother was, because that would have phased Lance through like most of these people. 
can get the trooper killed and a codex hit. Do it that way, because that way I can get a shot out first. I think when I hit the codex, he teleports, so that would kind of negate that purpose. So I can either weaken that codex, weaken the bomber, or the trooper. Obviously, Codex there. Um, I think I'll do the Codex because we don't know where he's going. Small chance he teleports into my uh, cone, which he didn't. Okay. Oh, that's right. They duplicate is what they do. Wait, my other options. Yeah, this is the best thing I can do. Oh, no. I can get a. Uh, Another attack, so I can finish off the Codex right now. Got the End phase, Lance. Light it up. Got him. This was the option. I had the choice of having more Codexes or more of the other two people. Um, I couldn't remember who the Codex was. Obviously they're annoying, but the good news is that their bombs don't damage you on this turn. It's later. The bad news is it makes you reload, so like... Mm -hmm. Ac wow, that fucking Acolyte. Mm -hmm. I can run and then use Soul Fire. Obviously I wouldn't be able to hit the Acolyte. I think I might as well do that though, because Soul is gonna be a guaranteed hit. That means I'm gonna have to reload at some point. <laughs> we just happen to see if we're close enough to the Acolyte. Nah, we can't see him, so. Uh, so I go with the Bruiser since he's next, because Godmother can finish the Bruiser all. Or we can still focus on these Codexes because they're assholes. And they're gonna attack again, anyways. Terminal can give someone cooperation. That someone can then down one of the codexes. I mean, we're fucked regardless, honestly. Might as well weaken the guy who attacks soon. I mean, I can relocate, but not right now. I should relocate because that's going to delay someone's turn. That would have been my better bet than moving. Yeah, I messed that up. I should have relocated. With let's say the bruiser, for instance. She leads the way. I'm, yeah, I'm okay. All right, so what Leave she got here? Flush alone. to make the move, scatter shot for AOE. I forgot my grenade. God damn it! Again, I can kill the codex right now. I can weaken the bomber, which won't help us at all. I might as well kill the Codex and then shoot to kill the Bruiser. So that'd be two. Or I can blow this up, because that would at least destroy some cover for them. They can't hide behind as well. I could move here before I shoot the codex. There's a decent shot to hit him. So I'm like further up, have a little bit more cover. 77 or 69. Alright. We might get through this. And she's rooted, so she'll take the damage. Okay, so I can give cooperation so someone can attack again. Uh, and it's only one action. So if I give it to Blue Blood, you can shoot the Codex, and the Bomber will be the only one to attack. Ceasefire Grenade for sure. 
has to be on the bomber, because I, I don't... Well, I guess they, I have seen Codexes use the guns before. So if I do is to hit them both, but the problem is, you know, Codex is going to die. So if I can get, like, the Accolade, it's not going to because of his wall coverage. Yeah, they're just not lined up properly. Oh, wait, right there would work. That way, Blue Blood would shoot the Codex to kill. And we can focus on killing the other Codex. to it, but still, at least it was that guy. So I can't shoot anyways, so my options right now are um, to reload and then use cooperation. Fed my weapon. On. I'd say blue blood. Oh, I do have hail of bullets. Guaranteed to hit, so I could take someone out myself. But I don't think it's worth it. Let's give it to Blue Blood. Why not? Okay, so we had to reload. Yeah, he had grenades. I figured as much, but you know what? I thought it'd be worth trying to. It's about to go up. Go, oh, it's a time-based one, and we both move before it blows up. Oh my god, that's so lucky. So lucky. So I can shoot him and then move. I would like to try to knock out the accolade, but obviously. I don't really know how that'd be possible. I can't flee anywhere with cover. No matter where I go, the Accolade will flank me. Um, he could swap spots with the Accolade. Accolade would die then, but then we can try to knock out the bomber. That's a good idea. Moving. Eyes open. Good, good. Have to fall back. Get away from there. Have to fall back. Uh oh, he has to reload. Ah, fuck. Oh well, that would have been good because I would have shot him to weaken him, and then we could have knocked him out. Now it's not going to work that way. All right. I have to reload. Even if I weaken him, no one's gonna be able to run up to him and knock him out. I don't think she'd be able to. Let's see. I mean, even if that does it, there'd be no guarantee that uh, I get three damage. That Target matter. armor deflected the shot. Uh, he's pinned down. Well, might as well just get the kill then. Fuck it. Ammo. I'm gonna take the case, which I can't even do right now. Awesome. So everyone's coming from down here or over here, so I want some cover for over here. It's like, I guess the best angle here. I'll be back here. Back here would be for the right. And shelter might be able to feel like up there and overwatch up here or something. Wonder where the extraction point would be. Would it be right here? I think it's gonna be right there to be honest. I'll do this. We'll have three of them. Again, shelter will be here. Actually, a shelter should be able to get to that. So I've got to cover. Very good. 
back in action. I've got to cover up here. That's going to be friendly fire. I'm going to have to have both people covering that for Overwatch. He also can't get there? Really? What the fuck, dude? Uh... I doubt that even if I switch places with him, I'd be able to dash up to that. That fucker. That is so stupid. I right, almost have to dash here next turn and get this. What kind of cover is this? Just a floating object. But hey, I'll put her here. On the move. I guess she could cover up there, but again, it, it had friendly fire with them. So uh... knocking down hostiles. Don't burn through your ammo. Good. Two people came through this door, and now sadly they're going to focus on the one. Ooh, okay, never mind. I was going to say, it'd be nice if one of them died first. The he was weak in the second one. Why'd you wait so long to shoot? That works out. Alright, uh, so let's see. She kind of has to run. Sadly, Blue Blood's where she should be going. Blue Blood will shoot him. Shelter will pick that up. Godmother will shoot him. So yeah, we don't need to focus on killing anyone. Assuming this is the exit here. Duck. He totally ducked and didn't get shot. Obviously. Here, because he's coming to Overwatch anyways. So even if this isn't the exit, he's at least overwatching here. I'll keep an eye out. Don't get twitchy. Wait, that guy didn't die? Well, okay, I got lucky there. I thought he died. I couldn't tell because the guy's potty was in the way. Heading over. As expected, right there. Best I move. Good form. At least she can't move and then shoot, so. Uh, I'd like to try to subdue, but again, fuck it. We already got two, maybe three. Missed the hostile. Well, we can subdue him now. Also, like stall for reinforcements, so I'm not really sure. I guess I could, because we, we'll get there quick enough. Another collar for the medic. Rolling out. All right, so we have two people tacking before this. We'll take the shot on him because then I can uh, leave. I kill him. Good. Blue Blood did his job. Stepping out. Now do I let them take the hit? Or do I relocate with him to delay his turn? To let those two leave, but then Blue Blood's here with all these people. Or shelter, I should say. Uh, nah, I can't. Sorry, ladies. Going over there. One of you will have to take it for the team Don't and hopefully knock it a scar. Heading out. Good. I'm not having more health. Enough of that, jackass. Treat the wound if you need to. Yeah, those are the mods I'm using. Although uh, the last one. 
I don't actually need because I wasn't allowed to uh, recruit that guy. So it's because, uh, again, with how they give you the uh, random group of uh, squad members, agents, I instead had to take uh, Shelter, which is fine. Again, all the agents in this game are great. Just I intended on taking uh, Sherub, Sheru, whatever his name is, instead, but I couldn't, so it's fine. And honestly, e even the uh, non-lethal bind isn't really necessary. But I didn't know that before I played the game, obviously. So mainly it's just show XP and show health. <laughs> but non-lethal bind I am using, obviously. Uh, let's see. Unrest, Intel, Illyrium, Intel. Good. Blue Blood Do you think we should swap call signs? Oh, to his max. Everyone? Oh, he maxed out. Nice. <laughs> I'm in. No, because I work so often with computer terminals, and you, See? you patch people up. Okay, so it is intentional like that they uh, have everyone their names makes like assumptions that. about why I chose it. Well, everyone's an idiot. You slap software together like I close wounds. It's a thrill to watch you work. Thanks, terminal. And I do like your call sign. Reminds me of how you are on the battlefield. Are you saying I move at terminal velocity? Your mouth does. <laughs> Don't change a thing about you. Okay, so that's cool that they addressed it. So I wasn't sure if that was just like a mistake or something, but no, they intentionally like flip flop their names just for the sake of it. Okay. Uh, so Blue Blood is now max rank. So uh, while I'm leveling, I don't need to take him. Obviously, I will take him. I love Blue Blood. Um, but for now, we can swap him out for the sake of ranking people up. He gets face off. Blue Blood fires pistol at every enemy in line of sight. Limited by ammo. So he gets an AoE. Awesome. Now obviously it's a once per mission. But now he has an AoE. Zephyr has an amazing AoE. Um, Torque has an AoE, which isn't, you know, super high damage, but still. Uh, Claymore obviously has AoEs. Okay. That's great. It's definitely going to be important that he has uh, mag size. Awesome. All right, we're doing situations next. Uh, let's see. That's going to be three days. We can reduce city anarchy later. Get extra situation rewards, but it's only uh, credits and delirium. Yeah, so you pick up the specific mission, you get 50% more. Yeah, that's not too important to do. At the same time, I don't really, I wouldn't really be using this too much anyways for four cooldown. Give me the credits while I keep focusing on intel. I guess I would do that. Fuck it. Wait. It. It removed the situation. Wait, what? Okay, let me reload. Say it just removed the situation. That's weird. Why, why would it remove the situation? <laughs> the whole point is to get more rewards from the situation, not to get zero rewards because there's no situation. All right, well, I guess we aren't doing that. Fuck it. Um... Oh, this is just her lead. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> oh, I got fucked out of my uh, intel, so I'm actually going to reload the save again, because the first time we did this, we got it. Unfortunately, we got screwed over by, I'm not sure if it's a bug or what, when we uh, <laughs> did the thing for better rewards, but it removed the mission completely. But seeing as we already got this originally, it's the 80% chance, so I mean. <laughs> Heading over! Closing in! Wait, what? Why is she not leaving? There. Eighty percent chance. There you go. 
go. All right, so we are not going to do this then because I don't know why, but that has to be some sort of bug. Not anything. I'm around. Are you coming on to me? No. I, I mean, you rush into things in the field. Right, I've seen see. that before. I know what it means. You think I have a death wish. I don't know. Do you? I rush in because I understand the concept of acceptable risk. Hmm, okay. Okay. But thanks for the vote of confidence. Alright, so for now, while we're leveling up, we can get Blue Blood out of the party, which means I can either take Claymore, Torque, I'm thinking Zephyr, because again, we're, we're needing so much intel. I might as well take Zephyr. Obviously, right now, I can't because she's training. So we'll take, uh... I haven't taken Torque in a while. But I think Claymore is the, like, straightest one-for-one -one swap at the moment. That's what we'll do for now, just because it's easier. But uh, I'll definitely take Zephyr when she's back. All right, which means taking all the uh, things off of him... Loader, scope, padding, AP. You shouldn't really need those things. Extra padding. Who needs more health? She definitely does, but no, she needs that more. He does. He has regen, though might be better, so I'll just give it to him then. Alright, uh, but in terms of his shotgun, we don't have a legendary shotgun for him. It's her that has it. So, what should he get? I think the clip size up. Oh, we don't have that. Okay, yeah. Also, we have our scopes and stocks. So, it's not really going to matter scope and then auto loader so who's going to need to reload more him i'd say give him the stock all right and then uh take out a grenade from him oh, that's right now we have tracer round which is plus five aim and trank rounds which actually would be more useful for if i forget to take people out but like these grenades are just so useful that, like... I don't know. I, I think the grenades are just so much better. These fire grenades are super useful, too. Again, that's why we need, like, the two utility things. I'm not using the ceasefire grenade all too much. And now I will put Trank Rounds on her. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Now all that stuff is good. Tomorrow we'll be getting the uh, next Black Market thing. Uh, so we were doing this, which actually... Okay, so it changed rewards and also changed the uh, situations. We were doing this one for Intel. Maxing this out will reduce unrest in the area, but it has none right now, so it's not worth it yet. If I was doing this one, on the other hand... Okay, well, that's already maxed out anyways. Um, so we're going to be getting... Oh, that's going to be maxed out, so that won't give us anarchy until uh, tomorrow. Okay. So we'll get, like, I think two more anarchy, so we'll be at four, which we can remove via this, but also doing the mission, I think, removes anarchy. Alright, so we should be in good shape then. I mean, in terms of that, but obviously, again, this is maxed out. That's almost maxed out. That's at three. Like, <laughs> that's not in good shape. Everything else is fine. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and just do a situation, which is a non-combat scenario. Intel, which works for Black Market, that's here. Gavenger Market. I can't find my takeout. It was in the fridge. Your what? Food? From that old world fusion place near the promenade? I don't really need to buy another uh, grenade. I think we're good. What did you order? A rice stew? So I'd, I'd rather save for a plasma potentially. Carrot. The one that tastes of rabbit? That's the one. H have you seen it? No. But if you do, could I try no, I don't think I need the superior or either, so I think we're fine with the black market. Uh, new spec operation. Star initiative. 
Agents gain 20% more XP for 5 days. Okay. That would be good, except for the fact that I'm actually seeing like how the way I'm playing it, we're, we're really spreading across uh, XP and it's really good to level up. So I'll have everyone max level um, before we beat the game. So I don't need that spec ops, that's nice. So I think I can still focus on Intel. Although again, I'm tempted to get the minus one unrest to all districts because of how we're getting fucked on right now. Because <laughs> they would benefit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven districts. Um, I think I got to do that because that's my pressing concern right now. Let me see this. This will be done tomorrow. Shotguns. Yeah, I got to do that. Okay, so Zephyr we can put in the party tomorrow. Alright, so uh, I could do Black Hat Crackdown, which gives me intel, which I want, but unfortunately instead we gotta do the Anarchy Emergency. Uh, which is gonna give us the credits because this is the credits area. And it's also gonna reduce it by three, so two from this and then one from this. So that will actually make this in much better shape. Um, at the cost of some intel, and yeah, that's totally worth it. So we have our new party, which is just swapping Blue Blood for Claymore. While we're still leveling these three. Yeah, let's do it. Everyone has their right shit on. So I gotta remember, because I was used to the old way he he was playing, where he used to be able to miss and do damage. He doesn't do that anymore. Uh, we have security door, her. Or keypad door, her. One of those two, and the rest we should be fine with. Okay. with dangerous contraband. Okay. Uh, enemies deal one less damage, plus three mobility, plus defense. In terms of turn order, I always want Claymore going first. Who could use the mobility? I mean, Shelter could use mobility for sure. He'd be going third though, and I always want him to go earlier in the turn, but I guess third isn't terrible. And then having Godmother with defense would be useful because she has the lowest health. So again, I want to put Shelter here, but I actually want Shelter going second. Um, it's only one turn where he gets the mobility, so it's still better to have him second. Okay. And Terminal now is using uh, Trank Rounds. Moving in. So we can stack Reaching. up these uh, knockouts again. Acolyte, Trooper, Hitman. You might as well take him out. You can take him out. Damn. She'll shred that. Hopefully she can knock him out. Uh, and you got a Thrall, which you won't really do... Well, we'll see. Maybe you will hit him. Okay, you'll, you'll do the three though because you missed. So that's, we can actually knock two people out right now, so we'll start out good. It's more about turn order then. I gotta hope the brute is like after uh, terminal. So we've got Thrall who can knock out Archon, Hitman, Bruiser, Brute. The terminal can knock out the brute there. Alright. Archon's far enough away, but I don't really know. So I can throw this to at least hit the Hitman. Or I could throw this to hit the Resonant. Can't throw it in there for him. It's sticky him though. It'd be nice if the Hitman like ran into the Archon. I kind of have a habit of doing, which is great. We're saving the Brute. Sadly, I can't knock out the Thrall because I'm nowhere near him. Damn. 
I feel like my best bet's just to throw at the Hitman. Although, again, I'm also tempted by the Sticky Grenade, because they just love to run into their allies. But that's going to end my turn. Who can I shoot? I don't want to shoot him. Oh, I can shoot that guy. I'd stand out in the open, so I'd have to run in there and shoot, but I think that'd be worth it. He attacks there. Claymore would pull the aggro for that guy, but he'd be weak enough to kill next turn. Or knock out. Yeah, fuck it. We'll do it this way. It's gonna destroy that cover, too. We're gonna have lots of people ready for knockout. Alright, so you go in here. I mean, cover's not gonna matter because he's gonna be <laughs> in your face anyways, but I guess what I'm thinking of cover for these guys. This might be a better option, like here. Heading over there. That one sees you. Target hit. Deflected off the armor. Wounded Fortunately, is wounded. none of these guys got killed, but you missed, and hopefully, I don't think we've seen the Archon attack yet. Cause somebody killed him every turn, like early. What's he doing? Ooh, he has a long no range attack. Good thing it missed, okay. Uh, so you with the hitman back there. I can swap places with the Archon and knock out the hitman. I think that would work. Although there's no guarantee I knock him out. Terminal will knock out the Brute, so the Bruiser is going to attack us. Yeah, I'll try it. They'll at least put the Archon closer to everyone else. But even if I don't knock this guy out, we'll, we'll be taking damage, but the other guy will be closer. Any cover here to take? No, no matter where I go, there's no cover. Might as well get closer to everyone. Come on, three damage! Damn it! Messed that up. Sabling target weapon. That's fine. And he missed. <laughs> what an idiot. He calls himself a hitman. Okay. Uh, so she can shoot him because, again, she's got trank bullets. It doesn't show them, but, like... Oh, yeah, it's just a trank dart right there. Okay, that's why. Um, is there anything I want her to do first before that? No. Well, I guess she can heal herself. I'll give her armor, too. Better you than me. Oh, why did he just get flung towards her? Fear not. I am still up. All right, next is the resonant. Don't let it get infected. Hopefully you... God, you gotta do max damage for this. So I can either hope for max damage or... No, I can't subdue that guy. He's too far out anyways. Um... Oh, the thrall. I can subdue the thrall. Fuck it. So again, I, I, the odds are I wouldn't get max damage anyway, so I might as well take one guy out Arrested while I can. And that was fine. Okay. Okay, so Archon. I mean, I could rupture and sticky. I don't think he he wouldn't die, and he might even run towards terminal. <laughs> so I think the archon we kind of just have to forget about, unfortunately. I could take out either of those two though. I mean, no matter what, I can rupture him since it's gonna be free. There, it takes more damage, but. Yeah, it's not worth it. Uh, so 
Who would I rather take out? Just go subdue him, fuck it. Arrested the target. What are you doing? What the fuck did he just do? What? Alright, this guy's in Overwatch. I could relocate again. Might take him out of Overwatch. Soulfire. I mean, if I don't move, I'm assuming shooting wouldn't proc Overwatch. Test out that theory. Yeah, okay. I Stop the hostile. Alright, so it's the resident there, and then obviously the Archon. Uh, Godmother can take out that resident by herself. So I could pin down the Archon. But between me and him, nah, we'll down the Archon easy. I'll shred his armor. Go here. I wonder if her AoE she would did. shoot through a wall. He's not highlighted in red. So I'm assuming it's not going to hit him. Although his health bar is blinking. It's kind of weird. But you can see the bottom. It's not showing it there. Alright. Hope is that you can down him. She grazed him, unfortunately. Otherwise, if she would have gotten a normal hit off, ooh, he can't. What? Oh well. Preparation. Hostiles will not get through. Don't burn through your ammo. There you go. Drop the target. Good. All right. Last through is marked. Non aggressive are surprised. Uh, so Godmother, Claymore. All right. Sorry, Terminator. I gotta be marked. Entering. Ready for breach. Frame rate. That wasn't, wasn't too bad. Like a 50 50 chance if the grenades are gonna like massively drop your frames or not. Uh, Bruiser probably wouldn't down him. I would down the Acolyte and the Thrall. So now let me look at who there is. Codex. Oh, God. Man. Cobra. Uh, I think I want to work on, like, downing people, period. What? With your fucking miss, you asshole. Alright, let's go ahead and use Dazzle. We're gonna need it in this room. down what oh my god what's up with this missing and grazing and shit holy fuck this acolyte this dude should have taken like 12 hits of damage and say he took four because of that god damn look at this fucking timeline here all right well there's the codex that attacks that's the Acolyte. I can hit the... Nope, I can't hit those two. So I could just hit these guys, which won't affect turn order, but it'll at least weaken them. Uh, it, he could knock out the uh, that guy and get in cover. Codex isn't going to give a fuck, but... I think that's my best bet. Two for one here. 
Plasma out. At least knock out one guy from this turn. Target subdued. Fleeing and what? Doing your bomb onto Claymore, it looks like. Burn through that ammo. On shelter. Okay. He has free. Oh, how convenient. He's the one that has free re reload. Plus, he has uh, soul fire, anyways, but still. Alright, uh, so Bruiser and Hitman. But swapping with them wouldn't really matter. I'd rather swap with someone who gets hit with the blown up thing, so maybe the Cobra? I don't know if it blows up when the Codex is next, next turn or before it. If I swap with the Cobra, I'd have no cover though. I'd be able to hit the Hitman, but I probably wouldn't be able to kill him. Plus, I wouldn't be able to reload. Soulfire does. Soulfire would kill the Bruiser. I should probably just leave and kill the Bruiser. This will be cover from, like, one person. Uh, well, there's not, not really any cover from a large group anyway. Yeah, fuck it. Gotta go here and then get that. Give you something to think about. Thought that was a miss. Cover me while zone. I reload. Uh, we've got the trooper in the back, and then the brute. Is that thing not explosive? Seems like it's not. Uh, I'm hoping the trooper can be down. Yeah, five health, even with the armor. Eh, it should be fine with the armor. The brute's gonna rush over here and shoot whoever, so that shouldn't really matter as much. But maybe we'll get cover from this. Me. Let's save her grenade for the Keep last moving. fight, potentially. They're not really grouped up too much here. Oh, she had to reload. Ah, fuck. Oh, she might as well reload then. Screw it. There's nothing else she can do. Reloaded. I didn't realize she was also in that. And the fact that they're disoriented is going to help me. Like I say as he that. hits me. Okay, well, it helped me there. That's good. All right, uh, next is the Cobra, who I don't know if I can... No, I won't do enough damage for it, so I kind of have to pin down the Cobra. Because, yeah, I can't shoot and use cooperation, so, yeah, I'm just going to pin it down. Headed where needed. Be careful. So this does seem to blow up on its next turn, which makes sense. I just wasn't really positive about that. Alright, so when I hit the Codex, it's going to separate the clones. So, I mean, technically I could focus on other things first, but, like, there's a decent chance I kill it. I won't kill that, and I will kill him. Hmm... Which one should I do? Start working on the Codex, or I can wipe you out. I think I, again, I think I'd just rather wipe these guys out first. Fuck. Damn it. Out? Ah, of course Already? he fled. Okay. Awesome. Who's attacking? The Cobra's attacking next. Okay. Changing locale. 
can. I have no ammo. I gotta reload. <laughs> I'm reloading. This is not going well. Uh, chain shot to kill the Cobra. Oh, chain shot to kill the Codex. The Codex is fucking annoying. We have to. It's worth sacrificing the turn. It didn't kill. Okay, good. Two, two attacks. It's worth sacrificing the turn, like order, you know, having these three attack right now to get rid of that guy for the next fight. Cause we don't need his stupid shit. Uh, now she could run up there and AOE shotgun them, but obviously it wouldn't really help. I think this is where I will use her frag. They are grouped up. They are tough enemies. It's totally worth it. And that can go subdue the trooper. We'll take some damage here from these two enemies, but. God, mother might get a scar here. Hostile subdued. Locking target down. You will have to try harder. Need me to take a look? Oh, that was best case scenario. They only attacked him. And then, wow, okay, whatever. I'll take it. Uh, so she has to start healing. It'll be fine. Wonderful. And then we'll see if she can take out. How does she take him out? At 85, that will down him. Yeah. Good. I don't want him to do anything. The two of them can I knock him it. out. Ooh, you can't reach him. Ah, well, that's all right. We already have enough knockouts. One less to worry about. All right, so that was bad in terms of what was going on, but like, you know, our damage taken and all that was fine. It was just a lot of stuff went wrong that I wasn't expecting. Lots of misses or grazes or whatever. Uh, fewer aggressive enemies, all you need to get defense. That has to be terminal. Damn, okay. It's go time! Need me to get the door? Alright, so we got trooper and resonance way over there. So I can take out the trooper. Now we look at the other enemies. Sorcerer, Cobra. No codex though, which is nice. So let me take out the trooper. You can start focusing on the bruiser or I think on the cobra. And I wouldn't kill it. There's no one I would kill. I mean, there's a chance at max damage I, I get the resonant. So, how do I want to play this? Um, who's the other alert guy? There's a chance that either of those two can down him in one shot, but the odds odds are it's going to take two people to down him, which means no matter what, we're only downing one guy. So I just got to weaken whoever I want to weaken. I think it makes sense if I shoot the resident, because the other SMG can shoot the other guy or tear his armor down. Okay. This guy and shoot the brute for the armor. It's a low chance, but it, it's worth it. Good. All right. Now, yeah, there's a thrall there, but that's okay. We'll just down uh, this guy. Down two people, but we severely weakened another one and specifically tore down his armor. We can grenade those two, so he'll be dead. He'll be armored. Sundered. That's the target. Actually, I think they're not grouped up close enough. Uh, so Thrall and Acolyte. So the corner's up there. Hitman, Bruiser, Root Cobra, Sorcerer. Damn, that's all spread out. What the fuck? Okay. They give cooperation so someone attacks next. Might as well. You could hit the bruiser and not down him. She'd have to move to hit, kill the brute. I mean, she wouldn't be able to use cooperation. 
Hail of Bullets? Isn't that the one that's guaranteed? It is. So I can use Hail of Bullets to do that. Just for the guarantee kill of the Brute. Again, Brute's not next either. Who's the ones that are next? That's right, they're way in the corner she can't see. So yeah, she just might as well down someone. Which again would be the Brute. And I could also use Team Up. So if I give... Is anyone grouped up enough for the bomb to hit two people? No. So I can either wait for it, or one option is I can give Claymore the immediate action. She will kill him, so he'll be dead. Claymore would use his grenade to weaken anyone. And again, it's these guys up here, so even that wouldn't work. We can weaken, let's just say. Let me see the order. I'd say the bruiser, but the bruiser... Yeah, okay, he can grenade the bruiser. And then on his next turn, he can shoot the bruiser, so the bruiser's down. That would leave the hitman up here. You could frag, like, this area or something. Okay. So the next question is, who do I use team up on? Because I want to use them all right now. Definitely want to use them all right now. I'm going to use cooperation on Claymore. Go! Go now! Go ahead and plasma you. I think this through, because who else? Like Cobra. Yeah, now it has to be him. Throwing plasma. Good. Uh, she has to... Wait, what? Isn't it Terminal who's attacking? Not Claymore? It's supposed to be Terminal. Oop. But it's supposed to be Terminal, but they're giving me Claymore's stuff. Uh, that kind of fucked me? Uh, because otherwise now I want to figure out who I want to do here. Godmother or Shelter? Hmm. I don't think Shelter's used his grenade yet, so I could do Shelter. Do that. But yeah, this is kind of a bug. It's supposed to be uh, Terminal, because Terminal's going to get the guaranteed hit on the Brute, and now I can't. Well, it's still a high chance to kill the Brute. Okay, well that's fine. Oh, there we go. Now she goes. Oh, I thought it was only uh, give them an immediate bonus action. Yeah. Oh, what? I'm stupid. Because the grenade doesn't count as an action. So he, that's why he got two. That's what confused me. Okay. Now she can use hail of bullets on him. As I'm sure her chance to hit was low. 58. I mean, it's a chance to hit, but again, I, I want the guaranteed hit. can't touch turn order because they're too far away, but we're at least wiping these guys out while we can. Um, he does not have his grenade. Oh well, it happens. Uh, so what I could do is I could swap with someone to lower their turn order and put me in a little worse position, but if I swap with him and then hide, that would lower him to the next round. Might not be the most necessary thing to do, but you know, it'd be nice. Same thing with the uh, sorcerer there. It's definitely not worth hiding back here because you get fucked on. Um, or I can just shoot someone. But no, I think uh, us ignoring the cobra makes the most sense. So we swap. We get full cover. Heading out. Uh-huh, you're a dummy. Missed. Still too close. They'll hit him with soul fire. Wow, terminal. Okay. That hurts. Uh alright, so next in terms of hit order, hitman's way back there, but sorcerer cobra and then those two. Okay. Um 
can't really move up too far. I can sticky the sorcerer though. Or the acolyte. Let me sticky the sorcerer. I'll always move up some closer. Traversing. I have a present for you. You asshole. You tried. Killed the thrall. Okay, you fucking tried. Hitman's trying to leave. Target weapon in play. Oh wow! Stop that! Even with full cover, it got me. All right, so we got the sorcerer and then the cobra. Both are kind of an issue here. And unfortunately, I can't down either. The source were already attacked. Guess not. Yeah, no matter what, someone survives here. I can force some reposition, but that's not gonna do shit. I feel like Cobra is the worst one. Again, yeah, this is not gonna matter if they're fucking down them. Shit. Oh, well. Changing position. I was going to say there's a chance to get a crit, and there you go. Got the crit, thank you. I'll pour it, and then what? Tyranny? Alright, I don't know what that does, but it didn't attack me yet. On the move. The hitman fled. And was nearly out. Alright, so we've got uh, the Acolyte and the Sorcerer. Good pin down. Oh, I can take the 66 on the Acolyte. Do that. Good. That. Now, the three of us... Say hello to the Sorcerer. So I can do this, or I can reload and shoot, which is... Oh, that's right, I have free reload. I forgot about I have that. To reload. Well, then I can chain shot the two shots to downer. Do we get to escape or what? Nope, we're done. All right, cool. That was just a uh, an emergency mission because of the high unrest. Got credits and intel, nice. Master crafted shotguns, nice. And now Zephyr is back, super nice. To buy these as crafted shotguns so shotguns do one damage and they all okay so all master crafted have shredded okay shredder nice that's good he's been promoted ventilate godmother fires a shotgun blast that's guaranteed to hit and destroy the cover cost three ammo okay while i'm here These guys need the, uh, clip. She has one. I thought there was a second clip that we had. I really thought we had a second clip, you know? Well, she'll need, she'll need it for her ability. Okay. Rest. Thank you, Zephyr. Let's see if uh, any of these guys... Since... Okay, he has quick reload. Blue Blood. Where is Blue Blood at? Hell yeah, we can get Blue Blood Train. Let me just verify with everyone else since they're leveling up and potentially getting new shit when they level. So she still needs health, but then mobility and dodge. Okay. Shelter can get more mobility. So I can give it the uh, blue blood since I'm not using him at the moment. But I'm, I'm tempted to, uh, again, even though I want her to level up, she still needs like shit like health and all that. It's 
since we're doing a situation, we only miss her for one mission. So yeah, let's give let's give uh, Godmother two health. Which means for now, we're putting Zephyr back in so we can keep uh, Claymore in. And the next decision is. Thought rifles, pistols, both of which we only have one using. Or armor. I could use the two for spec ops, because one can be getting intel, one can be removing uh, unrest, but I don't really think we need to. Improve training? That's new, I think. Uh, we can train two people at once, but that's not as necessary. But right now, it would allow me to train, like, you know, Blue Blood and her. Takes three days. No, I don't think it's that important right now. Yeah, so it's really these three. Um, do I get... Again, armor would benefit everyone. I just need the credits for it. Could take eight days to research as well. Fuck it. I think that's worth it. I sort of know how much it costs, so eventually I can start, you know, building towards it. Okay, um... I could take the gear off of, uh, Godmother. But it's really just the armor for Zephyr and whatever it is. Rag grenade, breaching charge, plated vest. Breaching charge. Frag grenade. Best. Okay. We now have our bunches of intel because we can get things ranked up all the way. I might as well wait until we do this mission tomorrow to get that fully ranked up. Uh, of these two, I would be doing this one, because not only does it give me intel, but it removes unrest, which is really awesome, because that's the upgrade we took, right? Our only situation- again, that one's- ugh. It works at times, but it's, it's definitely a lot better to go for the uh, intel ones. We'll be taking that one. So that one's maxed out, we'll max that one out tomorrow. The next uh, thing is 11, 15, 19. 19 is a while. No, I'm just gonna max this out right now, just so we can have it maxed out for tomorrow. There. That will remove like all that unrest. Uh, I'm gonna wait to reduce city anarchy until we're done with this because I I, I think I remember the first time we did, like we had some anarchy, it was removed in the mission. But maybe I'm thinking of the very final investigation uh, where we finished off with the Grey Phoenix. Alright, so we can do the Lyrium Smuggler, but let me just verify we have nothing else. Yeah, no. Alright, so. Good. Progeny is developing new tech that augments their psionic domination. We can't allow this. Undermine their research and end their experiments. Will do. But first, I'm going to go to the bathroom and refill you my have water. A minute. The few. What's up? Uh, let me listen to this I'm first. I'm having a rough time. In the field? You're performing above my expectations, which are substantial. No, I mean, I don't know what I mean. Off the field. With the others? Yes. I don't. Torque. You can do this. I believe in you. But why? Because you remind me of who I used to be. You had fangs? I had a hard time connecting with people who might not come back from the next mission. So I pushed them away. Well, what changed? Someone believed in me. And they made time to listen. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I have to go. Call me tonight, okay? I can talk and do paperwork at the same time. I'd like that. Thanks, Jane. Of course. You gonna start wearing sweaters? Bite your tongue. 
All right, I'll be right back. So we got two days before the market, so we'll, we already have enough intel now, but I probably wouldn't spend anything else because of how expensive everything else is, but we'll see. We are getting intel for- oh no, this is new shit, that's right. Um, so we can end the raid. Unless this happens to be a legendary, which it's not. Uh, I can go ahead and reduce district unrest in any of these two, I would say. Both. Hmm. I think we're using downtown. Okay. Uh. Nothing else we need to do. So this will give us intel credits and unrest. Uh, we'll see about city anarchy. You know what? I will use this regardless. Something reduces it by one, unfortunately. <laughs> um. All right. Maybe this is the final, final one. Won't be for a while. We we'll have to keep burning that every five cooldowns now. Five days. All right. The progeny raided a manufacturing plant for unknown reasons. Oh shit. Uh, 3 one PD set perimeter, but requested we take the lead one. Uh, lead on this. Three encounters, door. Uh, and again, we have Zephyr. 
these he's the main one to level terminal still leveling two a bit we have the other one on the cooldown so yeah good here Progeny raided this manufacturing plant. They're pushing in toward the production floor. Sounds like they have their backs to us. Good. Let's see if that's the case. Enemies are harder to hit. First unit through gets armor. Okay. Harder to hit. He does have the plus 15 again grenade. Well, she has guaranteed hits. Yeah, that makes sense. Entering. We're heading in. Codex. Root. Codex. Brawl, you can definitely kill. Um, let's focus on the Codex. I mean, it'd be nice if I killed him outright, but I have to do max damage. I didn't. Okay. She will take out. You'll either work on the brute or the raw. Won't down them either way. Or the R. I should say Archon, not the thrall. I could have her take out the thrall. What are those two going to do? One's going to finish this guy off, and one's going to do something else. Now, nah, I'm going to have her go after Brute, because I'm hoping they can shoot the Thrall. Is he behind cover there? He might be behind cover. Fuck it, I will send him to the Thrall. But he'll fire at us now. That would have been a low percent chance, so that was good. So I can take out the Acolyte outright. Let's do that then. Yeah, good. that was a good choice, sending her to the Thrall then. Let's see how much damage you do against the Resonant. Probably not a lot. Oh, wow. You grazed him. Well. Knock him out. Target down for good. I might get through this. Alright, so we got the Codex and the Archon. Then the resonant sorcerer. Oh, you can knock out the codex. I thought you couldn't. I swear I tried that before. Uh, so I can attack the archon. No one's grouped up enough for multiple attacks. Might as well do this just to start destroying. Not that he's using any of this cover anyways, but it would start hurting his armor too. Plasma. That poison there? Come on, stop moving the camera. Take out the codex. Go on, get going. Okay, so they can't be killed. I knocked them out, but it killed them just fine. Took we pissed them off. He didn't do that much damage, manage. surprisingly. That was only two damage. You can manage. Um, but she can crippling blow him, but that wouldn't kill unless you get max damage. Crowd control is less. The crowd control would hit them. It wouldn't kill them though. And yeah, next is resonant. I don't know if I'm gonna. I could take out the resonant. I should do that. I shouldn't just like focus on the arc. I need mean, I mean, to take someone out. That's the whole point. Here. Who's next is the sorcerer. I could swap places with the brute. So the brute would be next to terminal. Terminal can put him on in down maybe. 
I, problem is no one's gonna be able to kill. We need a tag team regardless of what we do, so we need a form of strategy. So now we're gonna keep them on that side, make them come to us, which they will be able to do, unfortunately. Um, I could relocate with the Archon, pushes him down. It only pushes him down one fucking person though, which is Zephyr. But Dad put me over here. I can see if I get a shot in any of them just to start weakening them. Like if, if I can hit him, I doubt Terminal will be able to kill him, but I think it's a better play. Let's see what I can do from here. Oh, yeah, because if that works, then that was definitely the better play. Nope, missed. Damn it. Still worth it because RNG says we should have got that hit. We didn't. Melee stance? Okay. Well, that's working out for what they did. Uh, so we gotta focus on the Archon. Which she can take him out if she gets uh, max damage here. That's what I'll do. Make like the best cover. Let's go here. She doesn't need max damage, she's mid damage. Do it. Better you than me. Nice talent. Alright, uh, it's sorcerer and then brute. This will blow up before the brute or the sorcerer, so I can weaken either of them. And I wouldn't be able to move. Right now I can shoot the sorcerer, so I think I would rather just take that shot. shrapnel bomb in hopes of uh, throwing explosive weakening them enough to kill him but I don't think it will what the fuck I can't even see what happened there but okay um so she can kill the sorcerer So the Brute's still going to be there, but that's fine, because I don't want her to go to the Brute anyway if he's in melee stance. Uh, she's going to have to run through this shit, though. Oh, there you go. She can go this way. Smashing extremity. Smash the hostile. Stand uh, here, because might pull him. Oh, I, sh I should have gone in the parry. That would have been the play. It would make him come to her. I messed that up. Okay. He's such a low chance. That's not too low of a chance. Return cooldown? I'll take that. I'm better mind to mind. Damn, 69% was a decent chance. At least I can treat my own wound. Yeah, she's disoriented. 80% chance, so. Right of the arm, which is nice. Still stand. That's what matters. Let's do. Arrested the target. We are missing health. So this would be a decent time to heal, although it's only the first fight. Am I missing something, or are or the progeny fight. fielding more sectoids than usual? This is a field test. The progeny deployed them like a weapon. Uh, all units get defense first is guaranteed to hit. Hmm. So many people I want to like go first, but okay, I'll do it this way. Moving in. That doesn't look so bad. Hmm. Let's see. Back of light would go down. The acolyte and fall are weak enough. 
I gotta think who people would have the hardest percent chance to hit. Obviously, the uh, Thrall is just out in the open. Everyone would be able to hit him. I think he has full cover, so he'd be the hardest to hit. So if I weaken him now... He has a 72. He might have the better angle on him. Good. Uh, that's it? Really? That sucks. Well, then, I mean, you wouldn't down him anyways, unfortunately. Fuck. Oh well. I'm expecting them not to have a high chance to hit. Yeah, 47. Fuck. She is taking a lot of damage these first two turns. There's a lot of enemies here. Oh my god. This one's gonna be rough. Of course, they're not together. But I think it's just better to hit Plasma him out. and then probably even sticky him. Hopefully he runs back into his buddy there. Their option is... Shoot. Probably not kill. Weaken. I would kill him. I could knock him out and hide here. No matter what, none of them are being eliminated. I would then leave shelter to focus on other people. I guess we'll do that. Target subdued. Are you in rough shape here? Claymore is the only one who got affected by it. Oh god. I can't. She's taking too much damage. Enough of that, jackass. She's taking too much. I can't. I have to redo this. Fuck. So I gotta have Shelter go first so we can uh, relocate, move that guy's turn down. Am I missing something? This is a. F shelter. Now that I know the room, um, I mean, Zephyr for the AOEs. But obviously Claymore for throwing the grenade. I'm going Zephyr. Let's do this. Alright. Got the thrall or the acolyte, or it can disorient everyone. That's the downside of having him go. He, he, I got disorient, so I don't even make use of the hundred percent chance to hit. I think that's fine. Um, I can have her go after the thrall. Weird she can't attack them. Uh, sure. She should down the thrall. You would have been able to down the thrall. I'll take the chance to down you. So I can weaken, or weaken, might as well weaken you. I know he was closer, but you know. Oh, nice.
Dude. Okay. I think I have to use team up as well. So I'm going to be relocating with the Archon. Just to move his turn order down. Next one is the Codex, and I would not be able to one-shot the Codex, because I'm doing 5 to 7, he has 8 health. So no matter what, Codex would split, so I either let the Codex split or we ignore the Codex for now. If I ignore the Codex, next in the order would be Brute and Resonant. I would have a shot on the Brute, I don't have Chain Shot, so I'd get a generic hit on him, which would be good damage and tear him down. So whoever attacks next should be the one to take him out, which could be Zephyr. But Zephyr's attacking no, so that wouldn't be Zephyr. Uh, so it could be Terminal or Claymore. Terminal's a little closer, so if it's Terminal, for instance, she'd move. She has to move. Claymore wouldn't have to move. Claymore would be able to shoot or frag, depending on how much, depending on how much health he has. Because if he could frag, that'd be better, because then he can shoot from here. Then we have to remember that the Archon's gonna be here. I'm gonna say Claymore in the hopes that he I'm doing enough damage to just be able to frag him to death. So Claymore. Which means I now relocate with Archon. You you. Good. Okay. The frag will kill him. Then we start focusing on the Archon. Oh god, this is, ugh, shit. The Archon's gonna attack before. Wow, he barely got delayed there. Ah, oh, fuck. That's not good. So instead, I could focus all on the Archon right now. But even that, I don't think it'd kill him. It might. It might just kill him. Or he might have one HP left. <laughs> I'm so fucked no matter what I do. Either the Archon attacks or the Brute attacks. Obviously this guy's attacking too. Um, fuck. Oh, Zephyr can kill the Brute actually. What am I saying? She can AoE and also weaken the uh, Resonant. So yeah, Throwing plasma. it'd be nice if this kills the Archon, this combination here. I don't think it will, unfortunately. You have one HP left. I, oh, I'd have to get seven, so I'm doing six to eight, so there's a good chance I do kill him. Hey, just enough, all right. That works. I know, we're ignoring the codex for now. Uh, Zephyr will kill the brute. Did they both get- man, that's such a big fucking area too, that sucks. So she'll kill the brute. Get this stuff here. Also collect the evidence. Disorienting him, that's a good debuff to put on him. Both the chest. And parry, because it'd be nice if she pulled the aggro of him, but you know, two of us are right there, so we'll see which one he chooses. Ah, damn. Oh, he missed anyway. Good. Great, I'm out. Alright, uh, so she's gonna have to move regardless. Unfortunately, she's gonna move and then reload. This is much better. Uh, I can give cooperation to someone then. How much health do they have? Full health. Oh no, Sorcerer has four, so someone can definitely kill the Sorcerer. Uh, I mean, Zephyr can roll in there and get the kill. She has the mobility to do it. Hey, you got this. You can kill the Resonant or the Sorcerer, but obviously Sorcerer because he hasn't attacked yet. This is so much better. Target out of play. Less danger for us. 
Doesn't matter where I go. On the run. You'll make it. All right. So uh, Codex, who's gonna split, and then the resin. So the I I'd focus on the resin really. Although, oh, chain shot. Chain shot's gonna kill him. I need a good chance though. So I gotta really hope that this is a uh, high percent chance to hit. Boy splits. 61. I'm gonna take it. First one good? Yeah, good. Alright, cool. Um, you're not close enough to knock him out. It's okay. You'll just go over here. Using an ability, Zephyr can get to him with her insane mobility. Good. Fracturing. We still have one grenade left. We might actually have. No, it is just the one. Smash the hostile. Oh no, it's Claymore. Yeah, he's regenerating. Yes, yeah, so we have two grenades left. Both of them. Think all the uh, should have be a sectoid down. boxed in. It looks like he's the plant foreman. Should have mentioned earlier, but uh, don't breathe too deeply in here. Okay. Last unit through gets armor. All right. So turn order. So many people should go first. Shelter again. If, if there's gonna be a bunch in there, we gotta use shelter to manipulate turn order. Like we did before. We're heading in. Okay. Resonant. Brute. Archon. Codex. Resonant. We can tag team the codex. And then hope that, you know, if they get good rolls, they might be able to kill the two resonants. That way we don't have to worry about getting the uh, reload shit. Oh, that's right. I forgot we have her down here, so we can't tag team. Or, uh, hope. Whatever. I'll send her down to that guy. One will kill the resonant. Um... Guessing. I'll make you do this one. Good. Yeah, I was right. You did a little bit less damage than he did. All right, so Codex is down. One residence down. That's about the weekend. Protect that hostage. Still those two first go. Thrall and Acolyte. Uh, so, they're weak as hell, but again, I kind of want to manipulate turn order here. In terms of where I go... Wait, I can't see those two? Are you kidding me? So I'd have to move and swap without attacking. So I'd get him like down in the turn order, and I would have cover, but I wouldn't be able to attack. I feel like attacking might be the better option then. I can't. It's because I can't see them, I guess. Damn, that sucks. So no matter what, even if I swap, I'd only be able to down one. So I might as well stay up here and fucking or stay over here or whatever. Shoot that guy, maybe. Not to subdue is not enough. Heading over. Move. So I'll have to decide to thrall or acolyte. Uh, let me get acolyte. Let's see, magic psionics. What? With this stupid fucking grazed bullshit? Are you kidding me? Great. Now shelter's gonna get fucked yeah, on. I'm okay.
behold your shackle. God damn it, man, with this gray shit. So fucking stupid. Alright, uh, I can take out the resonant and damage the brute. Or I can do the brute and their archon, but obviously. No matter what, the archon's not being killed. So if I attack the brute with this. How much damage are you doing? Four to five? Nah, it wouldn't be enough to fully down him with a frag and that. I'd be doing seven and nine. I need max damage for both of them to down him like that. So I can at least uh, remove the Archon's armor and, uh, you know, this shit that's blocking him. Frag out! Here. I'm clicking, I can't do it. Hello? Escape. Right again. There. And then hopefully if I use parry, it might uh, pull his attention. Weapon disabled, that's nice. But against him, it shouldn't really matter. Good. I pulled his aggro. Yes, okay. Exactly as planned, because now he can throw the plasma. Is the hostage being hit? No? Good. Plasma out. So we got the brute, the thrall, and the acolyte. Then him. So I can down the brute from right here. Let's see if I need to move for anyone. Technically, if I moved here. Here, I think I should be able to hit everyone? No. No matter what the thrall. Oh no, there's the best spot. Fruit. Clearing the board. How did you manage that? We got thrall and acolyte. I need to take out the Acolyte, which would hopefully free Shelter. You know, other options. Yep, I'm just gonna do. And stay down. Perfect, so Shelter can go after Thrall. And then that would be Zephyr. Oh my god, why is he grazing? This is twice now that he's Still grazed, standing. and Terminal Barely. took fucking massive damage there. Know your limits. So we actually captured two Archons in this uh, fucking battle. Target down for good. Well done. I think we can all flee before they attack. Let's see. Hurt a bit, and of course the one person I don't want to get hit is the last in fucking turn order. <laughs> Motherfucker! And they're not close enough. They're weak enough to be killed by this. No guarantees, though. I'm gonna do it. Good, because terminal's close to getting the scar. Oh 
I'm not sure if I go here, if I can still shoot and then Moving. leave. Check your fire. Because usually if you do things that end your turn on this, they let you leave as well, but I don't think Go they the will. Style. They do. Okay. Good. Out of my way. Awesome. Progeny were apt that sectoid for his work on the occupation. He had insight in the creation of Advent's psionic network. If they managed to recreate it, they could grab control of every hybrid who isn't able to remove their psionic ship. Everything. Credits. Intel. Illyrium. More intel. Godmother is done. Well done. The progeny's psionic development program is no more. All right, let's get to it. You people hear this bonded stair crap? Whoever's behind it knows their way right, around. So Gremlin now does a wee heal. Nice. Talk, don't think, but let me tell Once you permission. how the world is. That's your first clue. She's the maxed out now. Oh yeah. Is never your friend. Let me just see again. The godmother could go again for mobility and dodge. Terminal can go for guardian. Overwatch abilities trigger for multiple targets as long as ammo is available. Oh. I mean, you know, it dictate now putting her in Overwatch, but and shelter as well, blue blood as well. Let me see what the next mission is. The progeny are atop the tallest building in Old Town. From there, they have a view of the entire city. They're assembling a strange device up there. This must be their end game. Oh, take down the progeny. Like, this is... Wow. That's it. Okay. So do we stall for a bit just to see what other things we can do? Because I am tempted to have the uh, the healer train. But I think right now we don't need to. Might as well train her when we're on the uh, early stages of the next one. And yes, I, I could stall... I wouldn't really get anything I care about. Illyrium. I mean, getting the credits would be nice, but then I'd put that all the way up there. This obviously removes unrest and city anarchy. It's fully upgraded. Uh, I think we do have to do this. And this is a good party. I mean, you know, I'm still trying to level up. Oh, I want to put uh, her back in. Um, but things we need the healer. Shit. I don't want to roll in with like a, a lower party. I mean, <sighs> shelter does have the really good SMG. But I can give that to her. Although, to be fair, Godmother would be less useful in this fight. So I think the party we have now would be better. I think it would be. And keep giving her mobility, dodge. We can give Blue Blood his shit. And shelter eventually at three. Or I can start using her in the early phases. 
Um, three of those three. Shelter, Blue Blood, and Godmother. And I'd rather have them swapped out earlier when they're less necessary. Fuck it, I'll have Godmother. Well, let me make the save first, obviously, because this is the, like, big fight. Save for stream four. Godmother. Okay. Everyone else has their shit on. Wednesday, tomorrow, we get the market. Uh, Alright, let's take down the progeny. The progeny are constructing a device atop the tallest building in Old Town. We think they intend to force a psionic evolution in humanity, but that theory's crackpot at best. Stop them before they hurt a lot of people. Alright. Three encounters, door, increased HP. Ugh, okay. Oh, he doesn't have the epic shotgun. Gives him rapid fire. I'd never put this on him. Damn it. Fires twice in a row. Each suffers a minus 15. Dude, that would have been nice to have. Alright, well that's good. It's the same as the SMG one. Now I get two shots with that. Okay. And everything else is good here. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I'd swap out the healer, but we need the healer for this fight. The progeny have withdrawn to the 60th floor, except for some stragglers ahead. Well, the elevators are out, so you'll have to take alternative transportation up top. Please say jetpack, please say jetpack! It's an anti-gravity sled cobbled together by squatters during the occupation mildly exposed to the elements okay. well mild to moderate exposure you'll be fine first part sounded cool until you started saying who built it uh last unit through will be rooted first units granted a guaranteed it mm, who should be rooted I mean, Zephyr being rooted can't. It has to be a gun. I'd have to say Claymore then. Fuck it. Claymore. Zephyr, because I have to get the guaranteed hit, so. Um, who's doing more damage? Oh, it's the same. Is it the same? They're both SMGs, right? They are. It's the same. Entering. We're heading in. Alright, Brute. Codex. I don't know if we're going to be able to tag team the Codex because I don't know what their shot's going to be. But I'm going to have to hope that they do it. I mean, obviously, my hope is I get max damage, but I probably won't. Yeah, so I got to hope one of them can hit it. Otherwise, she can go after maybe the Archon, or do I want the Brute? I think the Brute would be better. Yeah, see, you can't hit them back there. Damn, that sucks, the Codex. Alright. I think I'm going to hit the brute just so she can finish him off. Good, so she'll finish the brute off, so he's dead after he shoots us, obviously. Uh, so we can kill the Acolyte in a low chance, but, you know. Hopefully we hit it. God damn. Man.
the fuck she was gonna jump off the pot and smack him. I was like, oh shit. Danger for us. In springboard. Shielding. Who, who did the shielding? I couldn't see. So good thing is if you shoot the codex, he doesn't split. It was that that's doing shielding. Uh, so I, I have to take out the codex. I, I can't afford to go after the other one. Um, oh, that'd be a great shot right there. Get whatever that device is. Hell yeah. Throwing plasma. As well. Fire, uh, but I'll be doing subdue. Oh, because of your armor. All right, so I might as well do this. Um, I don't even matter with that guy anyway. But yeah, I'll do this. Heading over there. Move fast, stay low. Drop the hostile. Extra armor can suck for the Archon. Oh, come on. He's got an A weak, that's gonna kill that guy, which will free her. Can she hit all three? No, damn. One away. I don't know what that device is, but the whole point is I gotta hit the Archon, so that's alright. So we'll kill the Acolyte, free you. Start the damaging the Archon. Disoriented, okay. Then hopefully with my parry, it would pull the aggro. Stay out in the open. Hell yeah, it did. Stupid Archon. Alright, uh, so Sorcerer over here. Good chain shot him. What you do is get closer, right? Yeah, so what's this resonance python uh, pylon? They're building, I guess. Go here. Yeah. Shot. There you go, I was gonna say. It was a rough start in the sense that we were getting all shot, but uh, otherwise we're doing good now. I have second wind to heal everybody. Move certain ailments and all that fun stuff. Um, I need to start weakening the Archon since I can't shoot that guy. Obviously I could go after the pylon, but that's just not worth it right now. Into the action. Start tearing down his armor too, which would be nice. Oh fuck! Fear not. Even though that was I there. Still up. Okay. Let it get infected. So I'd love the. Oh, I can't run to that anyways. No matter what. Don't think I'd take him out. I need a. Oh, seven. Okay. I don't think I want to do rapid fire then.
could start healing, but people coming at us, I can't really risk it. It's just they're gonna be right fucking next to us. I am low on ammunition. We can at least do an overwatch here. Hostiles will not get through. I think most of them can be back. Good, he's Starting done outright. Nope, two of them came from front. Damn it. And of course, he was second. For a better tomorrow. Oh, but everyone but him gets to go. Oh, interesting. Um, doesn't help me. So I'll just do that. The Zephyr and him left over with just one enemy. That's worth it, letting these two leave. And actually Zephyr can leave, so that's totally worth it because he's so far back here. Oh yeah, no, the guy attacks after him. Ah, we're good. I can run there on my own, which means I can actually get a quick heal off and Rebel then run on the way. Thanks for the assist. Or I guess I gotta end my turn on it. Ammunition topped off. What was I say? All right, going up to the sixtieth floor. got a warning off to the 60th floor the progeny knows you're here hey this time the noise was not my fault all right uh last unit through we'll have weapon disabled so that'll be zephyr all units can aim enemies are harder to hit claymore zephyr i guess shelter Terminal. Moving in. It's go time. Yeah, we got the Archon immediately. Uh, um, we're all be dead. Oh. I'm script up here, and then the Codex, which is a low chance to hit, so we. Can't tag team that. Uh, I can't see what's behind me either. Like if they're seeing the same room, there's more shit behind us. So otherwise, we can wipe out like the two thralls and a resonant at least. Or I can say I focus on the archon. Someone behind me focuses on the archon. Fuck it. Oh my god, what the fuck with that miss? Are you kidding me? Yo, that was so bad. Holy fuck, dude. That was not the time to fucking miss. I'll send you the codex then, in hopes that you get the codex that uses to attack on you. Holy shit. So we can still take out the Archon tag teaming it, it's just I miss taking out one person. Or we can go with the other plan of just taking out two other people. I mean, there's no guarantee we take them out. So do I take him out or do I disorient everyone here? I'll just commit to taking out the Archon then, fuck it. Fucking miss, dude. That was just terrible. The codex can attack first, always. Using a good spot for AEs, though. 
Yes, each of them provide shields as expected. The torch soon passes. Will you accept the flame? Or shall it consume you? God, she looks so crazy. Violet, stop this madness. The tide cannot stop its flow. Oh, Violet's actually here? The Violet and the Thrall. Okay. How far can I throw this? I think I can only hit the Thrall. Yeah. Uh, so I could move up and throw it. The Thrall should die from the shotgun. I mean, I could destroy the... Uh, I'm not sure if destroying it removes the armor or not. I actually didn't notice if that was the case. I would assume it does. At which point, that's the obvious thing to uh, destroy. Well, let's just test it out because we can always reload if we need to. Plasma out. Were they always at four or were they at six? I think they were always at four. Maybe it's just these two that are buffing them out and no one else got buffed by them. But I want to redo that then. It's a little confusing. Pretty sure they were at four anyway, so it makes sense if you're nearby you get it, but then why are the other people not getting it? I don't know. Maybe because they haven't been activated. The stragglers got a warning. And they know we have them. All right, so anyway, um... Ooh. Let me know the room. I mean, I like the order, just do I do Zephyr first? Because she can start out with the AoE. So otherwise, Claymore was just downing one person and then, like, weakening people. Whereas she's just weakening people. But she'd be weakening more people. Fuck it. Oh no, it has to be her because, yeah, because weapon disabled. Alright, uh, and that's gonna be shelter and terminal. Entering. Open sesame. Well, maybe this time he won't miss. But yeah, I still feel like if we shot that, it would destroy their armor back there. Alright, well, that's better. Um. But I did like setting her back there because again, that was a good AOE. Although now I think about it, it's not gonna. I don't know if it's gonna AOE like above. Because if it goes above, that's a perfect spot. Plus, those guys are back there, anyways. Yeah, I think I will do that still. Alright, so you've got to down him. Although she has a low, yeah, she has a lower chance to hit, so. Yeah, so she's got 64. Well, that went so much better. Amor still took a lot of damage, but that's all right. Bare minimum, she got three people hit there with the AoE, but she might even get four, maybe even five, depending on how it spaces out. Oh, so it looks like it only ca- oh, wait, that's weird. She gets six, the other one stopped at four, so maybe there's a certain amount that they can get. So I think it did destroy that then. Okay, well at least again, we're, we're learning, we're verifying, so that was still worth the reload because of that. Um, all right. Now the person he was going to shoot. Well, you can still shoot at the Thrall. And that one. So we'll move up. Do I want to blow up the pylon then? Because, yeah, I did look and I did see that was gone. So I think that's still going to be play. Let me just see my chances of hitting here. 82. You're the one that goes next, so I'd kind of prefer to shoot you. That's still a good chance. I'd rather shoot than throw, because throw wouldn't kill. Kill the Codex, but you know, Zephyr is in the way. And Zephyr will kill the Codex with the AoE. 
Yeah. So we'll go ahead and blow this up. Throwing plasma. Which for now will 100% confirm, or, you know, nah, whatever. Whether this works. Which, as expected, it did. So we learned two things there. That, as expected, destroying the pylons removes the armor buff. But it also seems certain enemies can only cap out certain armor. Because she had six. The codex only had four. And it did show plus two, plus two, plus two. So it's not like she didn't get the last one. It's just she couldn't fit the last one. So whether it's like the enemy type or it's based on health or whatever. We did, yeah, because he's only at four as well. So that confirms that. So that was good. Get you hopefully taken out. I Come was on. on. Alright, well she can AoE this area still. Did. Plus side damage. Okay. You will I can't see if he took damage. You're still with us. He did take damage. Alright, he's taking a lot of damage right now. Alright, so it doesn't include above. That's fine. Because look at this. Ooh, see, I have to take out the codex. So I have to do this. So Violet doesn't get hit, but the other ones do. Oh, I should have done my grenade. I fucked up. Let's see if they let me do the grenade here. They do not. Oh, I completely fucked that up, because now she's going to attack me. Good, she actually attacked me though, so... Best case scenario. So I still have my parry too. That's okay. See, even when I messed up, it's fine. Uh, so I can relocate with someone. Like Violet, putting her back here and moving her turn. I just want to see where she is in turn order. It wouldn't move her turn <laughs> down anymore. Um, so it's Resonant there. Sorcerer in the back. I relocate. Can I even relocate with the Sorcerer in the back? Nah, it's too far away. I can really locate with the Thrall. Which would then let, I mean, Terminal focus on other things. I'd be up here. I can use my chain shot on. I can start weakening Violet. I think I gotta do this regardless. Castling. Just for the position of it. Yeah, I really fucked up not throwing that grenade. It's like, you know, I could take out that guy. It's less necessary. Take out you because you attack next. That would be nice. Take out the codex, but that's less necessary. I could start working on her with chain shot, for instance, which would do massive damage. But like, is it worth working on her and letting the other ones run around and shoot us? At the same time, this is such a good. I mean, 66 isn't amazing, but I think I have to take that. Oh, come on. God fucking damn it, man. They are just fucking me over. I think we're we'll have to restart this again because they're just going to screw us so hard here. Let's see. They are lined up well for the grenade, but uh, we have lots of people going before that happens. I can pin down the sorcerer if I can get close enough. I unfortunately can't see the sorcerer. Okay, there. I can pin down the sorcerer. Moving, cover me. Which isn't even gonna work for that much. Like, what the fuck, dude? That one's the better option.
I got. I don't know if the sorcerer does. I gotta just get the sorcerer out for one, one more turn. But I, I really think we're about to restart this. Ah, oh, what is the fuck is this? I can sticky someone, which will be nice if they uh, kill their friend. Violet here. Otherwise, you know, I can move up and get a shot on someone. Like sticky would be the best option. Oh, I can t team. That's what I gotta do right now. I'd love for Zephyr, but... Oh, yeah, Zephyr! There it is. Bam. Wait, no, it just skipped her turn. Yep. That's the second time that's happened. Where it shows you it's going to be her turn, but that, that's why I can't choose someone who attacks next, because the game says it works until you confirm it, and then I'm like, nah, just kidding. Instead of making her attack early, you actually removed her turn. Got a off to nice try. Oh, okay. Well, that sucked. So do I want Claymore to go first? Yeah, I do. Her order was fine. Moving in. Just we were missing, and then of course the game it's fucked us. Okay, this is weird, because now the armor is working out right. Okay, this is so fucking weird. This is just a little buggy with the whole armor system for them. Sometimes it works for them right, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, uh, but I gotta plasma this. Plasma out. Now I gotta think about this in terms of when I use team up. Because if I use team up now... It'd have to be on one of those two, terminal or shelter. Um, neither of which have a grenade. The shelter would uh, obviously have his big fuck you attack. And then he'd only miss out on the codex. We can start working on potentially uh, her. Because again, Zephyr is going to do the AoE. Which at this point isn't even as great as it was before. Mm. No Claymore if he doesn't miss, which he did last time, but if he doesn't miss, take out the Thrall. I'll leave all of these guys. Again, once you weaken the codex, it's going to a split in half. I'd hate to use the full unload on the codex, but that would that would actually really help. Oh god. Let her AoE these two. I don't think she'd be able to get that guy. I think I gotta do that. Shelter. Alright, it did it again. It removed his turn completely. This is some sort of bug that's only happening in this mission. Oh well. But th this is really weird. This is a bug that hasn't happened the entire game, but it's happened twice in a row, specifically in this mission. Very weird. We 
Let's see, it missed that time. You can relocate with somebody. Uh, in terms of enemies, it'd only be you, which I can't even see where the fuck you are and the there you are. Man, this is so buggy. <laughs> which would let him kill the codex there. Yeah, I have to. Swapping position. Cleaning out the fodder. I'm standing out in the open, unfortunately. You can't see the codex? Okay, good. I was about to say. Oh god, it's only 49%. I have to. Okay, at least I got one hit, but... Okay. Ooh, RNG gods were in our favor, so things are getting a little buggy here, but RNG gods are helping us right now. This is actually really good because now she can AoE. I don't think it'd be all three. Oh, so close. One away. If I do that, I also hit the uh, pylon, so I might as well do that. And I again forgot her grenade. God damn it, man. What am I doing? That would have killed the uh, resonant, so he would be dead right now. Because I'm fucking stupid. Fuck. Alright. She would have a shot from back here. Probably not a great shot, but... Otherwise you use cooperation, which would let her use her grenade. That is a good shot. He's going next. She'd have to get max damage to down him. Or she can down him. Which would let Zephyr use her grenade on Violet to tear down the armor. Which we don't really need because we can shoot the armor off. And there is one more fight after this one, right? Yeah, there's one more encounter. So by saving that grenade, it might be pretty useful. So I'm going to take out... Oh, he's not attacking until way fucking later. After Shelter and Claymore. The thing is, neither of them would probably take him out. If they both focus on Violet, I don't think they down her. If all three of us focus on Violet, we would. That just let the Resonant and Sorcerer go to town on whoever they want, though. Well, I think it's worth it. Next time I'll aim for the soft parts. It's no use. That puts her right next to Claymore. Claymore's taking a lot of damage. Down. He might have a scar, but that's fine because you can swap him out. Shelter. I'm, yeah, I'm okay. So he can now use rapid fire on her. The thing is, I'm not sure with that sub service, she shouldn't. Like, you know, make him take the damage. So, should be good. So I could go ahead and Shrapnel as well, make her take even more damage. Otherwise I can Shrapnel someone else, but no, it's not worth it. Make her take even more damage just to verify it, but. Throwing explosive. That was the grenade and not her. Dude, what is going on? Oh my god, that wasted that fucking powerful move. Dude, she should be dead right now. I couldn't fucking tell it was the grenade. God, are you kidding me with this stupid shit? Deepen into gold! 
That's fucking dumb. Now we gotta restart because of that. I attacked her, but god fucking damn it, man. Bugs and then just a fucking thing that I didn't see. That's great. The stragglers got a war and they know we That would have fucking downed her too. <sighs> Moving in. We'll have to do with the bug, because I, I did like having terminal move up. It sucks that it actually fucked me out of turn, but you know. Bugs are bugs. It's not my job to fix them. Game developer's job, and they clearly haven't. It's very weird that it's just this fight though, which makes it a very strange bug. It's like coded into the fight to be bugged. And that fucked us. But we got so we got bad luck with the uh, our misses. Good luck with their misses. And look, Shelter is supposed to be here. He's supposed to be two and a. Okay, oh look, Shelter is no longer there. Might as well conserve my ammo by subduing him. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Dude, this is so fucking dumb. Not an easy target. Alright, frag these guys. The other one there, but you can't hit them all. It's alright, it's worth it. As it hits her. So, yeah, she's deflecting it while he's there. Thankfully, that means hopefully she takes damage now. Good. Alright, and then parry to pull the aggro. And he probably misses. Nope, you wouldn't have missed. Okay. Sorcerer is next, followed by Violet again in the Thrall. Dead. Uh, so the source for the same where it takes no damage as long as the thrall's there. I can just go ahead and subdue the thrall. Fuck it. Three enemies. And it's everything. Great. 
Shelter to get to her. Here. Clearing Ooh. the board. I get through. I actually wanted to capture her. We gotta reach her one more time. This is this is shitty. Th that would be fine if that was the first time we had to retry, but we have to retry like twice due to bugs. Once due to uh, not seeing something. Like God, this fucking sucks. The stragglers got a warning. Let him try. So I just happened to do the max damage twice there <laughs> to fucking down her. If it doesn't, if it happens again, then fuck it. But like, God damn it, man. Just like a fucking normal fight right now. No bugs, none of this stupid shit. Give me, the, give me the fight as it was intended. I, I do like the idea of running out there and hitting the codex, because weakening the codex then allows us to kill the codex. Which is the most important thing, because the other option is I could instead, like, no matter, I can't one-shot anyone. I guess if I sent her at the Archon, I would finish off the Archon, I believe. Then I can frag, uh, you, and then AoE, and that still wouldn't be enough. So no matter what, someone else would have to finish the job. So yeah, no, it's just not worth it. Better option is the Codex. but then you're gonna have all that armor on you. The torch soon passes. Violet, stop this madness. The tide. Okay. Bug. Plasma out. I mean, would it be better to go ahead and just shoot that instead of downing the guy? It's just that there's more fucking people attacking us. Because that would only leave you with. Five, which means he can just shoot you outright to kill you, saving his double damage for attacking her later. Let's just try that then. It's just there's gonna be so many people left over that like we're gonna get fucked on, but what do we have to do. Shifting my position. It obviously makes sense to remove the armor, but again, when there's also eight people here and specifically she gets like four turns per turn like because she, she can move use an ability control somebody who can then move and attack it's like god damn it why well, it's important to down people but like whatever they're going with the thrall but then give me the shot on you it's not even about like moving down because as you can see we're just fucked he's moving down in the same fucking turn switching now, he wouldn't be. Like, I should be attacking right here, but it's because of the fucking bug. So, Codex will be down, so that'll be good. This, what? I did 5 to 7 damage, and it says 2 damage. It's, it's so fucking stupid. Like, 
something about this fight is coding could at this point it's it's clearly intentionally bugged it's only ever happened in this fight we've had multiple bugs that only happened in this fight like wow that's really shitty they decided to the fucking intentionally code a fight to be bugged i've been liking this game but that's a really shitty idea There's a chance that downs the shield. Whatever, I gotta take that chance. Didn't, of course. At least it makes her sacrifice him. Uh, does the AoE hit more than one person here? No. And I gotta take out the codex, so I gotta do the single target. AoE for later then. Target out of play. The parry. Or, oh, how Close. the fuck did he but miss that? Miss. You should attack her, hopefully. Oh, you might go after him. Yeah, good. Okay. Good. And Sorcerer up there, we can't really attack. I can pin down now, though. And we have Claymore and Shelter, who can both unload on her. Now, she's been doing some shit where she uh, gets immunity. But I think that's that's the play. I gotta be careful. I wasn't even looking to see where it moved it down, so I hope it actually moved it down. Um, even from here, it's 78. That's kind of crazy. I, I'd rather move up. But even with... Uh, well, okay, at max damage... Oh, God. This is the thing. I don't want to kill her. <laughs> I gotta hope for a 6 and a 7. Oh my god. Do I just go for the attacks then? I think I just go for the attacks. Because I want to try to take her. Could not get past the armor. 5. That would have been nice if I through. did the double thing. But oh well. I'm going to have Terminal shoot her to down her. Or I can have Zephyr do it. I can have him move and shoot her. Zephyr knocks her uh, out. I do that. Over. Wait. I thought he was. She was fucking next to Zephyr. God damn it! Oh well. At least you're definitely weak enough for anyone, Zephyr or the uh, other chick, to shoot. If you do that thing where you mind control someone, that means that you, you can't, can't take the damage. Miss me. All right, good. So I can now uh, capture Violet. I've had worse. See, that's what's weird. The source removed shot and then took control. All right, so now Zephyr can't down Violet. But I can A we all three, which is still fine. Fast as I can. So then let uh, I'll put you down. Terminal shoot her with Trank darts to down. Although Terminal might die now. God damn it. Her words fall like the clear soft hey, good. You didn't attack terminal. What about the other guy? Good. Alright. So we can't take her until we down these guys then. But we're getting there. It's unfortunate she's gonna have enough uh, health. Okay, shooting her won't do anything. Might as well take these guys out. Gotta move. Cover them up there. 
Gotta get moving. Take that. Running out of ammunition. Okay, uh it's sticky that guy. I just don't think it does that much damage. Oh, this is all sorcerer. I messed up. Oh my god. What? Alright, so we're just gonna do this then. So I can still take Violet now. It's just I completely fucked everything up here. Whatever. I thought that was Violet taking all these people. Failed to subdue the target. Well, this was a rough fight for many reasons. Largely fucking bugs. But. We're getting it over with. Probably gonna have uh, someone go down. Definitely gonna have Scar too. But that was really fucking weird. Like I, I like the mechanics as they're intended, but the bugs are, are very weird. We can protect you. There goes Zephyr. Terminal's also probably gonna go down. Would be nice to get a uh, revive on her, but I can't reach her. I could give cooperation to someone. Shelter, I guess. Go! Go now! Stabilizer. At least that's not bugs like the uh, team up was. Then you can go ahead second wing and heal everyone. Oh, I didn't need to do that. That already stabilized them. I didn't realize that. Oh well, that's fine. I am low on ammunition. And that wasn't worth it, cause uh, that's right, she doesn't get up. Whatever. What fucking ever. Weird mechanic. I'm not thankful we're not familiar with, cause we don't that's usually get down. How much health do you have? Seven. So I should blow this down you out. Uh, I can't down you outright, unless I get max damage, so fuck it. I'm just done with this fucking fight. Still have one more after this. I stopped the hostile. So is Zephyr done for the entire mission, or is it just this uh, encounter? Massive power readings ahead. This entire mission. Looks like they're trying to... Whoa. It just doubled. You need to shut down whatever they're powering up. This is their first time using reinforcements. Okay. All non-aggressive enemies are surprised. First unit does three more damage. I'm guessing shelter will do that. Nope. Clearing a path. And it sucks. It's that time. Wrong. light. So low level guys. I feel like they're gonna be like point blank with the resonant, right? I can get the thrall. Might as well finish these guys. Oh, oh, good. Codex eight to ten. Just down it immediately. Is the plus three damage? Okay. Good. Finish off the accolade. It's only a fifty percent chance. Whatever. Good. I might have to redo the entire mission because of this. Fucking shame. These shields are a little fucking OP, to be honest. It should be within the radius and not every single person on the map. That's really fucking OP. Prevent them from escaping. 
Archon, Brute, Resonant, Sorcerer, Resonant. I gotta go after the Brute then. I'm gonna rapid fire his face. And do I. I can't even sh hit that one. I can blow up that one and remove the armor. Guess I have to. Throwing plasma. No cover from these tables. I'll go from here. Yeah, right in front of me. Thank you. And he misses at ninety percent. Like this is. This is not okay. I guess we can all just post up here and go into Overwatch. So that's the better option if that's what everyone's gonna fucking do. Sure. That's what we'll do. attacking before their turn. That obviously means I can't control them. More making my job easy. No, yeah. Okay. I, I think we have to redo the entire mission, sadly. <sighs> Give this one last shot. Well, it's a roll with the full party, like blue blood and all that. Massive power. And it's only Whoa. because of that, that middle fight where they, uh, again, bugs. They don't let you use team up like you're supposed to be able to. But now I'm going to do a different strategy of us just chilling here. Uh, going in Overwatch. I'm just trying to think. Well, yeah, I still might switch places with people. Opening a side door. I don't want to take out whether it was Sorcerer or whatever it was. If they're... No. Was it the Acolyte? I don't, I don't actually know who it was that made that bomb thing go off. Problem is, I also have the fucking codex here. Oh, we gotta do the codex first. And crazed. And miss. Why? Why even fucking try? Like. to retry this as th there's no way to win if we don't get our shots landing they're just getting too much armor yeah, and they need to fix the bugs and they need to make it so that the armor is proximity based that's Massive it that's all they gotta do 
have been some easy fixes, but clearly a year's not enough time to do that. Nope. Clearing the path. Open sesame. Sorcerer. Yeah, whatever. up here and just be an overwatch. I guess for now I can get this. Last time we missed at 90%. But then after that... Comes close, so I should be doing uh, a guaranteed hit pretty much. That's good. Drop to hostile. Courage. Then we just like sit here. Like everyone's gonna be pushing towards the door. And is that blowing up where our feet are, right? I'm guessing that's what it is. Let's just see, we have the resonant who's the next. Um Otherwise, I swap places with someone, but that puts them in this room. And I could swap places with the sorcerer, for instance, which would be nice just to delay his turn. But we can't even see the sorcerer. Because reasons. Um. Let's move here. Worth just destroying the armor? Probably is. Can't soul fire the armor, interestingly. Soul fire does ignore armor, so I can have him focus on one person by doing this, but it's, I don't think that's worth it. So next is Sorcerer. She could pin down. Let me see how long it pins him down. That's actually a normal pin down. So again, I feel like it was just that last fight where there was those weird issues where it wasn't actually removing them in turn order, or it was removing our turn instead of giving us another turn, and shit like that. Like it was just very oddly, seemingly intentionally coded to be bugged, which is very weird. I gotta pin him down. We can have fists blow those things up, but the problem is he's probably not gonna get to them in time. They were both in that room. I think I'd rather have him shoot, so we can shoot the resident to weaken him, or we can start going after the sorcerer or the archon. Let's go after. Oh, I can't because it's a low percent chance. First of all, he has to move. choice. It's 
So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a sticky on their Archon or Sorcerer. He's the one we really want down anyway. And he runs to us. She runs to us, goddamn. Yeah, so it was weird that burnout's supposed to be two two turns, but in the last fight it was a one turn attack. Again, just weird bugs. Alright, we gotta get him out of here, which is fine. So I can relocate first of all, that'll be one thing. But I prefer to relocate the source first so they can just fuck her up right now. Oh, they can't because that guy's possessed. Oh, he can't relocate with the fucking uh, guy anyway. Start unloading on him. Otherwise, what are my other options here? Let's get the resonance here. I could down him right now, and that would let Terminal shoot him. And then Android and Claymore can shoot him. So we can all down him, which would then leave these two alive up here. That's not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Shoot him? Oh my god! Nice panic. <laughs> Playmore performs well under uh, scary situations, apparently. I can get the guaranteed hit. Hail of bullets. I don't really need to. 77 should be good enough. And the fact that, again, Claymore hit him is nice. I'm guessing Claymore is not going to be able to do anything on his turn. But hopefully this guy will do enough damage to down him. It looks like it does, as long as it gets the hit in. 67, okay. Okay, there you go. Need a fresh clip. Alright, alright. So he didn't do anything, but hey, that worked out in our favor, how he reacted and he was panicked. each trip. Alright, they are really freaking out now. God, it sucks I can't chain shot because it would down you immediately. Instead, alone would take the damage or whatever, so I'll just go ahead and down you for guarantee kill. And two of us will attack and we'll see about claim really matter as long as we hit. Alright, so we definitely have some scars coming out of this. Process. This is definitely not the... Okay, it's only Zephyr, surprisingly. I've requested cleanup team at XCOM HQ. Felt like a close one. Head back to base. Yeah, I like the mechanics, but there were some weird fucking bugs in that area there. All right. And a little bit of everything. We got Intel, Intel credits. No Elysium or Illyrium, whatever, but uh, Anarchy Unrest. Nice. Great job, Chimera Squad. The progeny thought they could force a psionic evolution, but their tech was only capable of scrambling psionically sensitive minds for miles around. You stopped the progeny in their tracks and saved hundreds of lives. Uh, background unknown induces silent capability upon willing progeny membership. Product of advent experimentation. 
and we captured her. I'm sure, I'm not really sure if it has a game mechanic, it should, but I feel like in, in this specific game it won't. Like in other XCOM games it would. Um, but at least story-wise, us capturing her is definitely awesome. But hey, maybe it does give us a weapon or some shit like that. Again, it should, but I, I just get this sneaking suspicion it won't. We'll see. That, that was our only killer capture that I remember. Maybe? I don't think the first one was killer capture, and if it was, I definitely didn't notice it because I killed them. <laughs> but heck, whatever. Reclamation analyzed the intel from your latest investigation. We've noticed a troubling pattern. The progeny received external backing in building their psionic weapon. Atlas is no longer a theory. Now that we've foiled two of their plans, expect an escalation. Did you find a connection to Mayor Nightingale's death? Nothing. Focus your investigation on the remaining group of suspects and watch for any connections to Atlas. All right. Now, every time we've beaten someone, they've got like a new bonus. This guy had none. This guy had one. And then obviously, as we played through, we got a second. This guy has two. And then he'll get a third, I'm sure. Uh, Sacred Coil. An underground religious movement for hybrids. They preach salvation, but only to those who once fought XCOM. They have a brood clutch of chrysalid eggs, and they mean to deploy them as living weapons. And their operatives are trained to maintain more active responses to breaching agents. Oh, what the fuck? Sacred Our coil is what with. happens when former Advent officers find religion, or create one. They claim to be the true path for City 31's hybrids, as long as that path involves armed sedition. Okay. The amateur market. So, plated vest, plus one armor. I'm gonna buy it. Uh, plus two clip size. Again, if, if this is not a uh, one-time use thing, then I think the the modal inducer is actually gonna be pretty awesome. Let me let me look this up. Uh, if this works the same way as, you know, grenades and shit. Oh, I see someone saying that's a wrong descriptor. I don't know. It gives you one action instead of two. Okay. But then other people are saying, no, it doesn't. It gives you two. Nope, okay, it does give you two, okay. But that's not what I was asking about. I'm asking if it's a one-time use. I, I think it's the same as grenades. Uh, so again, this is this is just like uh, cooperation, which is the skill that um, interface terminal has, where she lets someone get one action. Uh, well, first of all, this is two actions, and it's working for anyone in addition to her. Uh, now, obviously, right now we don't have space for it. It's actually <sighs> well, I can I can remove the trank darts, um, but yeah, but we're buying that regardless. Clip size would be nice because there are people that are now kind of needing more. What was the reason I needed more? I think it was just because I saw that the shotgun had low. Oh, because he's doing his two shot thingies now. I'd burn through my intel. Whatever. I think I might rather wait for the. Uh, if I get a better clip one, I can't. I gotta buy it. Yep, she got a scar as expected. HP reduced by three. Well, she's going to have to go ahead and train after Godmother is done. He got promoted max rank. Okay, so we now have two people at max rank. Or is it three? It's three people now. Um, barrage. Shrapnel bomb and sticky grenade do plus one damage and do not automatically end the turn. Nice. Shrapnel bomb can now be used more than once per turn. Oh, okay. Damn. All right. Well, that's great. Um, so unfortunately, she has missing health now. 
Oh, dude. So Claymore, Blue Blood, and uh, Terminal all are maxed out. This was a bad time to send Godmother in, then. Fuck. Unrest is becoming serious. Yeah, they build more. Because it definitely wasn't serious enough before. Hey, this needs to be completely swapped out. It can't. Just so fucked, dude. Obviously, I have to investigate, which is a mission. I mean, there's no one I can switch in. Oh, Torque. Is Torque's not maxed out yet? Yeah, Torque. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, Torque. Bam. Now, still, two people here are maxed out, so only two people are getting experience. But, uh, okay, that's fine. He's in, he's in. Doc Mag, she's in. Reaching Frag. Doc Mag. We have three SMGers. Reaching. Frag. Plasma. Deucer. AP, Ceasefire, Tracer. No one really needs AP. I'm using Trank Rounds for now, just so I can get the kills with this. But no, these guys are going to be so low level. Yeah, we're not going to need that right now. Alright. Tomorrow she'll be available, at least, so we can put her in, just for the sake of again, getting more experience for people. This will probably be the last mission today. Uh, Sacred Coil raided one of the city three ones recycling centers. They strike me less as a reduce, reuse, recycle, and more conform, obey, comply. Head over, figure out what exactly they want. Get some credits for it. One has their shit. Good. Three encounters, really. I'm surprised by that. All right, let's see how it goes. occupied this recycling plant. They didn't know they were so desperate for used plastic. You can make all kinds of explosives with used plastic. Okay. Plus one damage from enemies. Aim. Stun. Alright. I mean, in terms of normal order, I go boom, boom. Well, definitely torque. And then shelter will be last. Not shelter, uh, terminal. It's a matter of, do I do Torque or Shelter? We're pulling people versus switching people. They're, they're the same, like, you know, idea in that sense. Who needs the aim or? They're both the same. <laughs> same guns and all that. I'm sure they each have the aim mods. Give the Torque. Yeah. Entering. Open sesame. Oh, these guys are bots, or at least the one up top is. So it will be nice to get that other chick since she does more damage versus bots. Yeah, they have androids. Okay, so let's go ahead and take you out. Five to seven. Hope you can get him. Good. Do five to seven as well. Got six. Six. You do five to seven. 
Let's just uh, deal with it. Good. The one up top who's stunned, so he shouldn't attack, so it's gonna be this guy. Play more, I can run up and shoot him. Plasma first. Plasma out. I'm guessing, I wonder if like, you, you knock out these guys, I'm guessing not. We want to take out the commando. Um, and again, it's Terminal who has those tracks. She can shoot him, hopefully. Uh, who's next? You. I get a shot from here, probably not a great shot. I don't think I down it. Heading out. We'll see. Go. Yeah, alright, well, well. I'm not that doing much damage. Wounded is wounded. Uh oh. But self distrust. Missed. Still too close. Oh, she can just take him then. He's next anyway. Pull him. Time for a face to face. Give him a hug. Don't struggle. Should have squeezed you unconscious. Down there. And it'd be that guy next. Uh, but she could just take him out completely. Let's just do that. And this is where we see if he gets knocked out or not. He doesn't. Alright, so that's as expected for bots. You do good work. Okay. I see you enjoy that. Oh, I didn't see him. This is where I can use shrapnel bomb. This is just to fuck around. Um you know what? No, I don't want I don't want to fuck around. I need to shoot again. So I can use shrapnel bomb twice it says, and it doesn't end my turn now. So I do that. Same thing with uh, Sticky, which is even more powerful, since Sticky does damage. It's gonna be dash though? Yeah, so I, I could actually shrapnel bomb someone to make them weaker and then Sticky them. I'm not gonna do that because he runs to us. Alright. Definitely wanna check out the mobile inducer that he has, see how that functions. Where the fuck did that guy come from? What the fuck was that? Okay. This plant Ooh. is processing advent mech parts, specifically the targeting systems. If Sacred Coil has access to old mech chassis, they could use these parts to build an army. That's right. We're risking our lives for janky robots. So again, this is going to be a great uh, investigation to use patchwork. The terminal, fewer aggressive enemies, last unit will have weapons disabled. Uh, but also do plus three damage. Okay. Uh, I think he still has free reload, actually. Moving in. It's go time. Let's see. Uh, commando. I don't want to take out the androids so we can then focus on knocking out the humans. 
at least that android, uh, well, he has armor. That's right, yeah. At least that android is the one that's there. But I could instead just do Dazzle. Is this the third fight? Or the second fight? <laughs> it's the second fight. So we'll be taking damage here intentionally, unless I have uh, her take him out. Let's see if she can take him out. Oh! That's such a decent chance. And she uses Trank Darts. <sighs> Fucker. Alright. I wonder how they feel about poison. Because they're bots. Apparently bot, you can't do poison on bots. That's weird. I would have thought, you know, the opposite. They would take more damage. Alright. Weird. I'll still take out some humans here. It's a shame I couldn't take that guy out. He missed, so, okay. Of course, all the humans on the left, while the Trank person's on the right. Damn it. Shrouded. It would be a shame if someone had a grenade to throw over there. Let me hit one of them, but still. I have to move to do it. Those are the ones that attack me next. I don't think that'd be close enough. Wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be close enough to hit just him. Down the mill. Target hit. Deflected off the armor. This is gonna be tough if these are just the normal enemies where they all now take two hits to kill. Close? Because this is where we're going to need that better armor. I just want researching right now. It's just a matter of getting the money for it now. Right, at least he's going to be weak in the next fight. Alright, I want to see the model inducer. Is that worth using now? Nah, we'll just save it off the last fight. Unless I find the need to use it right now. Uh, I'd love to take him out with subdue, but I can't. We'll have the free reload. I'm reloading. that, uh, which means I can kind of push up here so I get a better spot for everyone else. I stop the hostile. Well done. Come on, down him, please. Yeah. I was just to subdue him, so it might make him about turn order. Uh, next is that android. You can pull androids. I mean, I would expect so, but you know, it's worth just double checking that. Get over here! It's a better option. I wonder if you ignore armor when you do this. She ignores armor when she squeezes, nice. Alright, so it should be that android, I would assume. Yes. I can blow that up. I mean, no matter what, he's not going to die. So I'm curious how much damage he's going to do. Probably going to do less than a traditional shot. Oh, it's just poison. I just shredded his armor. Oh no, he was dead when we got here. Uh... Oh fuck. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. This is why he came here out. I'm not going to actually subdue him, but you know. Oh, look, he's alive. We saved him. They're heading to the loading dock. Don't let them escape. Let's right, so we want to test out ankles. that modal inducer for Torque. sure here. What? Ankles heal, don't they? Uh, dodge. All right, good. So just traditional order. Oops. Shelter. 
T1. Or they're both T. Alright, terminal. Fresh. Entering. Same worse. Still. Where's the hostiles? Good, I can take him out because he's not a human. Hostile that we didn't see before. The android's still alive? What the fuck? Thank you. Wow, so I gotta hope that you down him. God damn it. What the fuck, man? Spotted the target. They're grouped up nice for a big boom. A little too will get hit by it. armor too which is nice I destroy this big box here but I kind of would prefer to get right here destroy that as well it's not letting me so this is the better bet then let's get rid of the cover plasma out clearing the board that guy outright I actually didn't expect to do that so I won't kill him anyway so I could just subdue you Yes, the sniper would be a purifier and the commanders. They'd, they'd have flanks on me, but other few wouldn't. That'll leave a mark. Hope it doesn't. Next time, don't get hit. Commando way over there, so I can swap spots with the commando. Who would be next then? Android and the other commando, so I can take out the other commando while moving his turn down one whole turn. Yeah, that's Trading worth it. So then I can also check out how this modal inducer works. Um, so I'm assuming it's going to use my turn, but they did give him a whole nother turn. Because then he can get... When's the purifier attack? There, he can get the two attacks and a purifier. Now that wouldn't... <laughs> I mean, me doing it right now, I would down him in the turn order, which is worth it. Actually, if I give it to Terminal... Yeah, I gotta do it that way. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna team up with Claymore. But now, let's see again with Terminal if it works the same way as team up. Except rather than like it being a free action, it ends my turn. That's how I'm assuming it works. It's not showing her moving up here. Okay, so it, it does work the exact same way as uh, the other chick's move, except it's two turns, instead of just one turn. And it did say it didn't end his turn, so yeah, that's really awesome. So we'll verify that we can reuse that, which we should. Uh, Alright, so. He is taking out that guy. We have the android that Claymore could take out, or Claymore could focus on you. Which means we have this commando for either me or her. I think we both have to... Oh no, it's just the commando. Yeah, so that'd be for me. I can go ahead and use the cooperation. <laughs> oh god, this is so fucking powerful right now. We're just banking so many turns in a row here. Alright. This is what he was going to do, but now he can do this part first. Ah, you didn't finish him off. Well, that's fine. Alright, so then now... She... Down him, hopefully. That's and then it goes back to him. <laughs> no, it did end his turn. Even though it said it doesn't. Okay, no, that's what it means. It doesn't end your turn, but it still uses an action? I thought it said it didn't use an action. Either way, whatever, it's fine. Alright, rapid fire, it's a double shot on you, to down you. Now, yeah, it's not turn order, but... Target 
Target dropped. He does he need a tongue pole? She can just kind of go out in the open and do this. Do you want to die? Then stay here. Why can't she bind? What? It, hello? Okay, that's not right. Frag out. I thought we tested before that diagonals count. I know we already tested to verify that he uh, takes, he can be bound. But then he died. That's damage though. Oh my god. Dude, we might have scars after this fight too. Jesus. Holy shit. What the fuck is going on? Okay. Gotta use second wind. Nothing else I can do. I guess I can heal myself and then do second wind because this doesn't end my turn. Second wind does. Holy shit. Well, it's a good thing I've been leveling people up throughout the game, because we might have to start just using an actual party now, which is fine. Again, the way I've been playing the game hasn't been, like, intentionally 100% to win. It's been, let's try to level up as much as we can without sacrificing too much. So it's been, like, 30% win. 70% just everyone getting experience. So this is this will be fine. Um good. So I'm gonna take you out. Arrested the hostile. <laughs> uh you're the android, so I can actually do the shrapnel bomb first, but I can't shoot the android from here, obviously. I could sticky the android. I think he's gonna run into someone and blow us up, probably. Traversing. Like down with the armor? It doesn't. Ah. Enough of that, jackass. We know Torque definitely has a scar. You should return the favor. Let's go pin him down because I don't know if I get the shot from here. Oh, since when can I use pin down and attack? I blow up the hurt Claymore, but Claymore at least has the health. Good he shouldn't be getting a scar from that. I thought that was a miss. All right, goddamn. Well, that was uh, a lot of damage I wasn't expecting. Nope, we got two scars. <laughs> Shit, dude. A staker coil needed mech targeting systems. They absolutely must have mechs. All right, I think we have to start rolling our full parties. Now, the problem is I, <laughs> I wish I can get rid of the scars before I do that. So we need like some easy fucking missions to get rid of these scars first. I don't think it's gonna happen. Coil went after mechs. They need soldiers. But for what army? They were underground until Mayor Nightingale's election drove them to the surface. Their hatred for her gave them motive. Find out if Sacred Coil had the means to carry out an assassination. Alright, and that is what we will do. Glorgo, I said it before and I stand by it. 3-1 PD cannot get a handle on scars. all this violence. Why are you showing her, though? So She's shell-shocked. Well, reduced by 15. And then we knock out on God Operation King Scott. Oh, yeah, it's when you like earned it. Doing, but there aren't that actually shouldn't difference. matter right now. Come I'm it, assuming Roger. Will for Is panic. For so I can actually hold out. I mean, I'm I will remove I that when we have time. But that's actually not as important as you Got it. I take your right, point. See. Shelter is surrounded by an aura that immediately extinguishes or blocks any mental impairments for himself or anyone nearby. Or soul fire will heal shelter. Ooh. I'm going to think about that one off stream because we're going to be ending it here. So we'll upgrade that tomorrow. Look at all that fucking 
shit. Um, all right, so we'll continue this tomorrow, but we'll go ahead and end it here. We're on the final investigation, and I don't know if we're going by just the first flight. Things seem like they're gonna be uh really tough, so we might actually have to use our like full legit parties, which should be pretty fun. But uh, either way, let's go ahead and end it here.